Here we go. Hi there. Hello. Hello. I, Hi, Jim. I remember. Uh, I remember to join in on a Thursday that I'm not don't have something else going on. <laughs> oh well, thanks. It's nice to have you here. We're 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 uh, always well uh, happy to have somebody somebody who doesn't show up often show up once in a while. That's nice. Yeah. Good to have you. How's how's everything going over there? Oh, here. Well, let's see. Calgary. Well, let's see. Guess it's guess it's okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. You don't have to come up with something. If the yeah. Oh well. Happening. Let's see. I've got. Okay. Uh, can, I've got can, something that. You can make something. something, that's something that's I've got something that's a bit of a pain that uh, my. Uh, I don't have a working car now, and uh, so I'm so, so I'm in the market for one. Did I? I'm, I'm not sure if I mentioned it the last time I was here. <laughs> anyway, Sounds familiar. Looking for a car, huh? Yeah. Is it? Do you live in an area that you have to have a car? It's a little hard to do. Like Calgary is pretty car centric, and it's nice to get out of town. Um, I guess. Okay, I was thinking I would check out uh, how to um, get to Banff and such like the bus and can I get there, do a day's hiking and or, or cross country skiing and get back to the <laughs> uh, via the bus reasonably reliably. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. Or you just have to go with people who are going, you know. Yeah. Some people live in towns, they don't need cars. Yeah. There are people who never learn to drive. I, I was just looking at a picture of somebody I know who lives, he's from Brazil, from, yeah. uh, where, where's the biggest city in Brazil? It's, um. Is it, would that be Sao Paulo or? or, or Sao Paulo, yeah, yeah. he's in Sao Paulo. It, 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 yeah. He says, I've I never was... needed to drive. Why would I drive? Yeah. What, yeah, I can, okay, I can see, yeah. But if you wanna get out of town, well, I, I don't know. How good is the bus and train system in uh, Yeah, that's true. Well, he just goes with other people. I never, I, yeah. I, I couldn't function without a car. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, North America, well, North America generally is more, is just sort of the cities and, and, and intercity stuff is just rather designed around cars and it's hard to, uh, now I did go, to uh, something, I took my bus on the on the commuter train system, my, my bike on the commuter train system, and that worked. But it probably wouldn't work very well during rush hour. <laughs> um, no, you have to wait it out. Yeah, but uh, this was to um, uh, an optomat uh, opto. Anyway, eye doctor. An eye doctor appointment, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, um, and it was uh, okay. Uh, maybe a fifteen minute walk from the sea train from the sea train station, or or, or a five minute bike. <laughs> so I thought I'd uh, try the bike. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Look, that we have somebody new. I don't. Zeke, have you ever played before? You're on mute. I think I may have only attended one, but possibly two. Well, that's good to hear. Z came over and she uh, we hung out for a while. She's down in LA. She yeah. brought her husband and her and her daughter with her and Sagan. And so is, uh, uh, came up and visited. Uh, well, she didn't come to see me. So she is your husband so is your husband and uh, husband and daughter gonna take part in this trivia night? <laughs> My daughter May, she actually helped the last time. I attended. She actually got us. One of them the, was coming up with the Chinese zodiac, and she came in and knew all those. Oh, and then oh, she is—is is that the, the like when they talk about the year of the pig or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then she came in with another answer last time about 
um, how clownfish are protected from sea anemones. She knew that that they so had. You some have kind to of... only play at least one full. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, right. yeah. Right. They have sea anemone and enemies. Sea anemone. So she she may pop in. She's in the next room, and her screen time is getting cut cut off quite soon. So she'll probably be in to annoy me shortly to play at your screen time. Yeah. Hi, Jane. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Feels like I see you all the time now. That's great. <laughs> yeah, it is nice. It's a weird feeling, huh? Yeah. Seeing somebody nice. once a week. Rob's here, Mr. Palmer. He's on mute, which is great to see. I the, don't know. Yeah. Caspian's here. Is Caspian doing category? Oh, look, there's Caspian. Hi, Caspian. How's your stool? And I'm not talking about that kind of stool. I'm talking about your, he when we, reupholster, we reupholstered a stool for him. That's mm. the kind of stool I'm talking about, not a mm -hmm. sample or anything. So, good, well, good well, well, it. Well, he, well, he has a sample stool rather than a sap, stool sample. Yeah, sample stool. How, how's it going over there? Is it getting along? Is it fitting in? Is it blending in? It works. You can sit on it. Uh -huh. Does it match? You know. Well, nothing matches anything. So <laughs> we just picked out upholstery fabric that my my neighbor said I have enough of this. Do you like it? I'm like, yeah, I like that. And she says, do you think he'll like it? Will it match his furniture? I said, yeah, I think it probably will match. I'm sure it'll be fine. But we just reupholstered a, 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 the stool thing for him, and I did the woodwork, and so I'm I'm just like. Wow, look, that came out so nice. I'm really amazed. I think I do it. Hi, Bob. Where's the chickens? No, when I try to unmute. Yeah, you can do it. I, I know you can do it up there. Sundown, sundown's a little after after seven. Oh, so they're not in my yet. time. So they're long in bed, but Max and Min are out there. Max might come over on his own. He did last week. He just got out and decided to come over and sit with me. So I got to. I don't know if you've, you've met Bob. Uh -huh. He has two chickens that sit on his head or his um, shoulders the whole game. They sit on, the, they sit on this pillow. Oh, that's so better than a lap chicken. Ones. They're so cute. As my, wife, my wife made me this pillowcase for this little pillow with a pocket. You slip it over the headrest, and then if things get too boring, you can just take a little snooze, you know. He goes, he he leaves the computer, you know, sometimes when he walks away, and it's just the chicken sitting there looking at it. It's so funny. Hi, Susie. Hey. How are you? Good, good. I'm kind of yeah. tired tonight. I think I'll leave at halftime. It was uh, well, you, you never know. It might be some amazing category you just can't leave. Uh, okay, well, it was grandson day, and we were at the park for like two hours, and chasing a two-year-old is a little tiring. <laughs> they run you to pieces there. And there, was the goose, there was goose poop there, and he looked down, and he goes, what's that? And I said, goose poop. He, per he looks at me and stomps on it. I was like, are you kidding me? Why did you do that? And he just looks at me with the most ornery grin. <laughs> the second reference to stool in 10 minutes this is true oh, well, you know I, I i like the, the the stool test or testing stool that was pretty good yeah uh, well i have i sometimes say something funny it you have to be paying close attention because it doesn't happen often i have to tell you the st louis um skeptical society was just raving praise of um your visit there and they were like we have to ask her again and i was like well i see her every thursday if you have something you want to ask i could find out oh, i didn't really? know you were so famous oh wow well i don't know if you'd call that famous i gave him a talk <laughs> yeah that's what they said and it was they they loved it oh well that's that's nice to hear i'd like to go back when the weather's not so bad yeah. Uh, yeah, well, this is kind of like London when it comes, to, <laughs> you know, rainy, cold, hot, humid. Well, There's not I'm much fine in between. With everything but the hot and humid. Ah, everything else is fine. 
Hi, Cindy. Hey, Susan. How you doing over there? I'm doing fine. Oh, we get different artwork today. Yeah, we get some kind of artwork. That's nice. That's very pretty. The flower behind you in the oval frame. Oh, thank you. I I took that. That's very pretty. You're going to have to come over to my house. I've got some flowers on my wall too. Oh, okay. Just a few. But actually, like about twenty. <laughs> <laughs> not quite enough for me but I, I i quite like them we're getting there all right we're getting close Caspi and jamie came over yesterday did she tell you yes i had tomatoes ready and and mark is not eating them fast enough here at the house so i had to have uh caspian's girlfriend jamie come over and she loves mm. tomatoes she came by and i went down to my neighbor's mm who also is growing tomatoes, but she isn't eating them. And so I had, I went down and picked all her tomatoes and Jamie came by and got them. I said, you got about a week okay. to get through these because there's going to be another big batch in a week at least. Can you clarify what you did to uh, prevent the raccoons from repeat visiting? I saw a, a post, but I wasn't clear on what you did. She uh, could tell you, but she'd have to kill you. <laughs> I have, I, I have the same issue. I just have to close the cat doors. I put in a new cat door. I, I managed to take out the old one, which was just a flap. You said something about it destroying the door or the- well, they Oh, they're vicious, yes. Well, no, what happened no, before is I had in. a metal kitchen door. Oh. And so yeah. I, a few years ago, tried to put in this one that reads the magnetic, um, the chip in the back of the cat's neck. And to do that, I had to cut a new hole. And then I cut a new hole and I wasn't quite good at it. It was a metal door. And then they messed it, the door up. Oh. And they messed up the door. The chip didn't work because the door was metal. And and so now I've I've bought a better uh, one. And I finally did it. So I put it in and it just reads the back of the cat's neck. The problem is, and I'll show you the problem in just a minute. Let me upload it. But um, <laughs> the poor kitty cat. But uh, so now they can come and go, but they have to put their head in to this little tunnel and it goes click and then they have to realize they have to push forward and they don't quite get it they go click and then they back up oh and no click again. <laughs> and they get their head click and then they go and so one of my cats just sits there for a long time and goes back and forth i don't know if you like the clicking sound but he just likes to stare out the window right that's what he wants to do it's a little window click 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 and then they can't quite they have it's been a little over a week but they haven't quite figured out you click and then push you know, and That's go. Funny, but they're 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 hilarious. The <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, I got uploaded from my phone, but I just so, got a video. So we we turned an internal door into a cat door because we have like a half bath off the kitchen and we made that the cat bathroom it's got the litter boxes in there and that's all we don't use it for anything else and we decided to put a, a little cat thing in it, right but it wasn't one with a chip it was just one it, it hung up it was a clear plastic Thing that they would have to push open and it was magnetized with a very weak magnet on the bottom right we could not get either cat to ever go through the damn thing i, I held them I, I put them through it you see it moves easy but they would not do it of themselves so i had i had to take out the plastic thing they would never never use it how interesting yeah some cats just don't adjust to it really well and it's an interesting it. thing that they don't get it uh, because you know my cats have been going in and out they're 12 years old and so they're used to going through this thing but <laughs> I gotta show you. I gotta show you this video. Mark and I just and we're laughing in the background. Oh yes, I showed it to Caspian. We are laughing. So, so but, you show uh, it. Uh, let me see. So so you can show it after the cat herding video. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, hold on. Wait. Let me see if I can get the. Here's where it is. Okay, I, I found it. And we're laughing, but we're we're laughing with him, not at him. So uh, let me let me screen share since we got a moment. So this is just a few minutes ago. This is my cat Hamilton. Can you see his little leggies right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, here he goes. Oh. <laughs> what? 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 Why can't he get out? Yeah. What's going on? Oh. <laughs> oh. He succeeded. Wow. <laughs> why was that so difficult? I don't, yeah. I don't know why it's so difficult, but 
100 percent if I'm facing. Well, one them. thing is it, it, sometimes the legs were off the ground, but when they were on the ground, they had no traction because it was a maybe you could put a mat there, you know, a mat well, that we, sticks well to the ground and he could that would make work. sense. Um, but you know what happened is oh, you know, cats. They they were so good for months now, they've not been peeing in the house for like on objects, which they were doing. And we had to lock them out of places. Anything that was fabric had to be taken off the ground. Well, all of a sudden, now that the raccoons are gone, they started doing this. Two of the cats have. So if oh, I put a mat down, yeah, they they're might gonna pee on it. And it's just so freaking annoying. But we can deal with that. I'd rather have that problem than the, the raccoon problem. Yeah, our cat likes particular mats, but other ones it doesn't. So and it's like rubber, it doesn't, but if it's a cloth material, then it thinks it could. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. I, a... I just haven't gotten to a Oh, it's just such a. You now, Susan, you're somewhere in California, but I'm can't rec don't recall where. If I, I'm if in I Salinas, have... California. Have uh, you been to California? No, I just uh, uh, know the map. Okay, so if you were looking at a map of California, this big long thing, yeah, right in the middle. The... There she is. Yeah, she'll point to it right in the yeah, middle, right. right by the water. It's Isn't that where Maggie Maggie McGee is from? Yeah, I knew. Yeah, I knew. I knew it was on the coast and uh, somewhere between San Francisco and L.A. It's very close wow. to where they keep the nuclear vessels. The, ve the nuclear vessels. Oh, that's Cindy that's a whole other world away. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Cindy and Caspian also live here. Well, yeah, within thirty minutes of me. Yeah. I'm gonna put that video up. The poor kitty cat. I gotta put it up. I mean, now if he was. If he was my grandchild or something, I, I don't think I could put that up because that would be really embarrassing, but it's my cat. <laughs> oh my gosh, poor little thing. Makes oh, I was on, I, mm -hmm. He I was, was your on grandchild. Vacation. Go ahead. If he was your grandchild, you could put a diaper on him. Oh, well, that would make sense. What were you saying, Cindy? Let's see. What are, let's see. Salinas. <sighs> Salinas. I, guess I, I guess I've seen it. Let's see. It's... In a few bit works of fiction, there was uh, it was in the vicinity. Mice of mice and men occurred in the vicinity there. Are uh, you a are you a Steinbeck fan? Uh, John Steinbeck. I've, I've, of Wrath, I've, Cannery Row. Yeah, I've, I, 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 I read a bunch of them. I read Cannery Row. And, okay. Yeah, that's just down the street from me. Is where his home. Right, and uh, we have a museum out a, here. It's really nice. Yeah. Travels there's with a, Charlie. Yeah. There's a science fiction story uh, um, novel I liked a lot, which has a fair bit of the action occurring in that general area, Salinas, Vandenberg. Yeah. Vandenberg but, is ooh, well far away. Oh, okay. I, Vandenberg Air Force Base? Where is that? Well, it's, uh, well, I know it's on the coast. It's about five hours south of us. Oh, yeah, okay. California is really big. Yeah. It's like almost, would you say it's half of the East Coast? Yeah. More. Not quite that big. Yeah. Like half, almost like from. It, it is half of our West Coast. Yeah. yeah, it's really big. It's it's like you could drive yeah. and drive and drive and drive and start at the top. And yeah. I don't think you could do it in a day, could you? No. Okay. We just well, did guess, it. Yeah. <laughs> Not in a day. Hi, Sagan. Hi, Sagan. Hi. Mom says you're going to help us out. Do you think you'll know some answers? I know. Maybe. Maybe. You never know. Go. There comes some more peoples. What order do you have me down for, Susan? Um, you're second. Okay. Who's yes, on I'm, I'm putting you in charge. I don't think I've ever put you in charge. You're the mean bad hammer tonight. Gail's first, Rob, Peggy, Caspian, and Robin. Here comes Janine. Here they come. Hey, Peggy. Hi, Vincent. Hello. Is Pe hey, Peggy, is George doing all right with his cone? His He's got to take his cone off? He doesn't have it off yet. He has to leave it on. They said for two weeks, and that would mean a week from tomorrow. And it will. we might make it 10 days, but I don't think we're going to make 14. He got a softer cone. He's much happier, but it's still, he's going to destroy it, I think. But whatever. <laughs> To look back on these days and say oh when i oh, had oh, testicles oh, 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 oh. <laughs>
I well, is there a list? Figured out for Windows 11, so yay me. I have is the background a... that I want. There you go. That's nice. That's a picture there... that I took. Is that Calgary? No, that's uh, Grouse Mountain in uh, Vancouver. Yeah. Well, I did the Grouse Grind uh, a few years ago. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's it. I that's where I this is where I took a picture from kind of thing, and I just took a picture up there and I nice. guess is that you coming down the slope too i think i see you no going, ah! god, god no no not if you took the picture so that's no. that's good yeah. so hi kyle hey, hey good evening nice to see you i just finished your podcast a couple days ago i think all right thank I you i think i just i'm trying to remember i today i attempted to figure out what i was going to listen to next and i i remember clicking on it and saying nothing new so must have been a couple if, days. If, if I listen, Kyle, to your podcast, I've got to be mentioned in it. So, <laughs> be what? Yeah, understood. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Terry's here. Hi, Terry. She just can't figure out what back. Hi. Be. What's her mood today? Who is she? I know. I, yeah. Who is her mo mo moment? Hi, Romero. Good to see you. Hey, good to see you. How are you? Janine's here. Hi, Janine. Where's Faith? She's jogging uh, in, she's, probably. She's making a cake. If she knew I was coming, she's she skipping the game or coming in late. She's coming oh. in. She'll be here a little bit. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Good morning. Hey, you guys. Highland. How is nice. this, how is uh, Friday? <clears throat> Beautiful. Sunny. Friday, Friday's okay, huh? Did they indict? Did they um, lock anybody up that we'd like to have locked up, or anything happen here? You should know about in Russia or. I mean, no, you know, we're, in the future we're just and all. trying to look ahead. <laughs> no, but, we're, but we're expecting a lot of Russian tourists to be swarming very oh, soon. That. Can they get in without a, a, a visa? Are um, you one of those countries? I don't think, I don't know. Actually. They said Montenegro and Finland yeah. and Turkey. They can get into yeah, it without know. a visa. Yeah, I don't know. If, yeah, I don't know. But I think they, they have visa on arrival, it's called. So I think a lot of Russians can get a visa on arrival. Oh, you guys oh. could be accommodating them and... Eh, I hope not. <laughs> handle, handle the tourist dollars for a while because they're going to have to stay there for a while. Um, I know, that's true. That's true. I hope not. But well, we have a big... There's a big Russian population here. That's for sure. Really? Well, and give me the Powerball number? Yeah, it is, the, <laughs> it is Friday. Can you give it... <clears throat> oh, yeah. You can do your Wordle for you. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Get that word out. Hi, Kevin. Good to see you. I like this. Hi, everybody. You're peeking around the corner for us, too, huh? I see his, his uh, he's taking a picture of us. Okay, so I think we're, oh, we're not quite there yet. We're getting close. I might send you off to your rooms here a little early. Let's see. Let me start putting, put him, putting them together. <clears throat> Fine. I think I can stay for the entire time. Well, so, there you go. It's possible. Good categories tonight. Have I got one? Uh, no, you don't. I can put okay. you down for next week. You want a category or a bonus? Uh, a regular category. Okay. Is there a list of the subjects that have been covered over time? Yeah. Can somebody tell her where to find this? Google. We do. No. It's on the Facebook. The Facebook um, of Susan's trivia. Where you Social get trivia by Susan. Ah, okay, thanks. Mm. Yes, Jamie, you can. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so it's it, the lo list is very long, and even if you see that you, <laughs> even if you see something you want to do, and then you go, oh, we've already done whatever, uh -huh. Lucy or whatever, you can do it anyway because our memories some some of us have amazing memories the rest of us will say i remember that we had that question before still don't remember the answer but the same wrong answer i did the first time <laughs> susan yeah. i have an important question yes what, sir. what are we going to do four weeks from today yeah you know i was thinking that. about that that is going to be very interesting um we got to come up with a solution uh who's going to handle trivia when when 
a large percentage of us are not available. I was thinking what's, Caspian might do it. What's happening oh. four weeks from today? Psycon. Well, oh. maybe somebody the, hasn't been watching my interviews. Maybe the <laughs> twelve Psycon interviews giving people the dates. could like be a team. And we could be down, but there's going to be something going on. No, 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 always going on. something going on. There's a speaker. Yeah. Can, can yeah. you call it a bye week? Yeah. A what? what? Just call a bye like they did. Well, it's a sports term. Yeah. It's just um, no game that night. Nobody oh, played. I don't that. know if we could skip a Thursday. That would be freaky weird. <laughs> We've yes. never done that before. I don't think it's possible. Uh, we I could do. Thursdays. We well, could. We, we might could not do, even be able to have a Thursday. We could do just, Wednesday, unless you're going on Wednesday. I'm going to be gone. Do you just all, run a best of. Do, hmm? do, do, do you always have a trivia night on U.S. Uh, Thanksgiving? Yeah. Yes. Well, we have yep. the last yeah, before. Also, it was Christmas Eve we did it. It's like, yeah. Some New of Year's Day. Things, We've never missed day. a Thursday. Uh, there's been two I think I've missed. And Rob ran them two at least, or the one for sure that I wasn't here. Yeah, two but, you weren't here, and one you here. you were like in a hotel room, so you couldn't run it, but you played. Yeah, I played on a few. Yeah, I remember I went to Stanford with my sister, and I really couldn't do it. Let me see, Bob's going to be cat. Okay, so Bob goes over here. Mm, um, how, well, how about Tuesday then? Just so we no, I don't want to move the date because a lot of people they do it just for this day. Right, you kind of set Thursdays. So I don't know. I'm, I I think if you guys are really nice, Caspian might come over. He could come over and look at my cats, and he has the passwords to get into my computer and stuff. And that way, he could record it right to the computer. Your pet computer has passwords. Well, <laughs> one, but well, it's password, so you know, minimum. I don't know. I was thinking that might password be right. is password. <laughs> Will there be enough people to play? Oh, sure. We'll just do every player for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like Monopoly. I mean, what is it? Uh, Trivial Pursuit, whenever people used to play by themselves. You know, like 10 people play and they didn't play teams. I never understood that. It would take you forever. Well, you can't play so, 10 people in Trivial Pursuit. You only have six pieces. Okay, well, yeah, six, six people six individually. Yeah. That would just be awful. Yeah. Peggy's three. Yeah, if you, if you had seven people, then you put the two dumbest ones together. Oh. That's how we did it. I'm not and saying it was right. They show everybody up. Yeah, because it just, some people just get it. <sighs> just the way it is. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this. There's a bunch of people who are going to be joining, so they're just not here yet. I think I better break these two up here. Um... So Zeke is new-ish. She's played once. So everybody say hello to Zeke. I'm Hola. Come over there. What is with the Zeke and Rebecca? Her real name is Rebecca. Ah. But I've always known her as Zeke. Are you, you're not going to PsyCon, right, Zeke? Who, who that's here is going? Jane, come Kyle, on now. Kyle, Kyle's not going. I'm not sure yet. I can't commit to. The... What? Yeah. How could I'm that? Border, be? I'm borderline. Not sure. Oh. You too. Yeah. What? Where it's gonna cost it? me a lot of money. Yeah. I can find your roommate. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that's not the problem. It's just it's so far over, over thirty six hundred dollars for me and my wife to go. Oh so no! Far. You don't take your wife. Why would you take no, your wife? No, no, I definitely take my wife. <laughs> Why? Flip a I don't, I'm not gonna go to Vegas and get divorced. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not. The thing about Psycon is people who always bring somebody with them, you don't go do stuff with them unless you're doing stuff with the group because the group is like always she can do something else, but she's gotta be there. I no, I there is no my, downtime I leave my husband else. in the in the hotel room. If he doesn't want to go, I can't help it. It's it's just there's no downtime. It's like you get up, your first thing yeah, is okay. Where are we having breakfast? Then you go to the conference and you have lunch together, and then it's after lunch and after and then dinner and then after dinner and then 
until like one in the morning, two in the morning. Then you have to sleep for about three hours. You get like three hours sleep. You wake up. Where are we having breakfast? There's no, there's no time for, unless your wife is going to be like there with us, like right there with us. That's the only way you can, you can function because otherwise we hear that all the time. People will go, oh, I have friends I'm visiting or I'm going to bring a spouse and they're going to hang out at the pool while I'm at the conference. I'm like, well, what are they going to do the rest of the day? Because you're not going to be around. And then they feel bad because they're like, oh, I should be with my my spouse. Yeah, okay. But I really want to hang out with you all because I see my spouse all the time. It's just never, it never works out. You should, you should treat her to a day of, uh, a day at home with all the, all no, the luxury no, gonna, she wants. We're gonna, of, gonna, uh, we're gonna go early, spend a few days doing other stuff, go to the conference, then spend a few more days after, and and probably get married again. Oh, uh, Elvis! Each other? Yeah, yeah. Elvis. yeah. Have <laughs> Elvis as a best man or something. <laughs> oh. Uh. oh, I'm sitting in your rooms. I'm telling can, you. Can we get married again? Well, just well, for fun. Yeah, We're we already all. married, but you know. No. I, I don't know that my husband would marry me again. <laughs> I gotta find somebody who'll marry me. Somebody who will take care of me in my old age. Here we go. Okay, go play in your rooms. Be nice. Pick fun names. Shoo. Shoo. Hey. So Susan, we had a question about Psycon and the costumes. Can we do we have to dress up according to the theme or can we like dress up how we want? However you want. Okay. Except the one exception is is that um in the casino, you mm -hmm. have to have your face uncovered. So, like, I mean, if you were to wear a scary mask or, or even a mask, a full mask. You have to okay. get up to the conference area and then put it on. That's the only that's the only requirement I think is that you have to have a. They need to be able to see you on the security camera. They don't want Trump sneaking in. We had you somebody. Wear a mask? To, you wear a mask, yeah, but you can't wear it through the casino. Right. And, uh, that that you can't do with Sasha Baron Cohen. What about a, a a medical mask like for COVID? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that. of course you can wear that because okay. you can't have well, nobody is. Nobody's going to do that. But in 2016, right before, the right before the election, we had a guy show up and he was somebody from the Bay Area and he came as zombie Trump. He was freaking hilarious. In fact, I think I have a video of it. I'll try to find out whenever you guys are when we're gone. But he he wore these contact lenses that were like, uh, you know, blood red, I think. And he, he, he had like a suit on and it was all all the side it painted him to look like a zombie and he's just so freaking funny because he had these lines memorized and we were just like oh that's so funny oh my gosh hillary's got this <laughs> it's just a few weeks before the election and there was there was no way that he was going to win they were just like we were positive there was just wasn't even like a thought it was like well of course it's going to be hillary how stupid yeah and i said um i'm going to write a wikipedia page it's going to be Trump, uh, Donald Trump's hair. And that's the only, that was the Wikipedia page is going to be focusing on his hair. Oh, there he is. Oh, <laughs> it was so funny. And he, he, uh, Jeannie Scott, uh, came as, uh, RBG. Yes. Uh, she was uh, good. She was, uh, yeah, she dressed up like, and a, she was a, singing Pittsburgh and and alive. Was with them. They were together. Who, who put that picture up? That was Carl. Could you put that? Could you put that back up? I had a question. Sure. The person behind him had a thing of poop on his head. Did he? No, I'm, I was thinking I saw a Q. I do. Is there a Q on it? Is that a Q? No, no, it's just a blood. That screen. looks like a Q. Never heard a Q before. On his, on on his left. Oh his God! Yeah, oh my that. God! You're seeing it everywhere. I think wow. you lost your mind. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> I'll try to see if I can find a video of him because I have a video of, of him. He was, he was uh, hilarious. But the next day, his eyes were killing him from the, from just the air and the and his. He just was sitting there listening to the lectures with his eyes closed. I'm like, are you really tired? What's going on? He goes, Oh no, my eyes are killing me from the costume I wore yesterday. But he also had there was people dressed up as cats, and mm -hmm. so he'd go up to him pretending he's going to grab him because remember grab him by the 
you know what? Uh, and uh, but Ruth Gator Bins, Ruth, Ruth Gator, Gator Ginsburg, Ginsburg and him hanging out together were hilarious. So, and she had she had the Guinness. She was Ruth Bader Guinness, and she was singing. Oh, I didn't. Stay in alive, stay in alive. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that. And then I remember Richard Dawkins was there with um, Elizabeth Elizabeth Loftus. I and, know. Oh my and, god! <laughs> and another <laughs> one. And uh, um, what is her name? But um, Richard Dawkins is by he's a biologist, but he's also he's he's butterflies and things. You know, that's his thing. I missed the butterfly thing. I asked him if, if oh, yeah. he was E.O. Wilson. And then I go, oh, those are butterflies, not ants. And he gave me the dirtiest look. So yeah, it was it was uh Richard Dawkins is running around with this, he was dressed up as a like a you know with a big kit net and web adopters. Yeah, and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And he had the shorts on, the tan. Oh, we'll have to, I'll show Jackie you. shorts that was yeah, good. He's got it. There he is. There, yeah. There, there oh, he he's is. an entomologist. No, he's a no, he's, a he's a evolutionary biologist. But. Yeah, so so there's you could dress up. In other words, you can do whatever you want. But I would I would reserve as I would as I tell everybody, don't overpack because you're going to be able to buy a ton of books and get them autographed. And it's <laughs> so cool to have those, and you want to bring them back. And there's always stuff you pick up, so always underpack. What's the theme for the Halloween party this year? I've forgotten. Hawaii, isn't it? Hawaii. Yeah, it's a luau. Yeah, we're we're going to do a cultural appropriations, which I'm sure will cause no problem at all. <laughs> <laughs> More Calgary people. Holy moly. Yeah, just, well, that's just, the way it is. Just Jeez. send them a check. They'll be fine. Okay, so let's do our category names because um, I forgot to write you guys down. And team name. And we had, yeah, those things. And I had a bunch of people join and I haven't put them in rooms yet. So, so we have Cindy... Faith, and I'm writing you down. And Romero, Romero and Kevin. Kevin. Romero and Kevin. And, and we don't have a category person in there. Yeah, so you we, are getting, um, <laughs> who's first up? Gail. Is Gail here yet? Yep, I'm here. Okay, fantastic. So you're going to be in that room. Oh, Gail, I figured out uh, Windows 11 how to get Zoom yeah. on so you can get the background. Oh, good. Yeah, so you have to uninstall it first and then reinstall it from the Microsoft Store. Look oh for goodness. it in the micro, Microsoft Store and then install it yeah. like that. It should work. Thanks, it? Okay. I didn't know that. Now so, I have to learn yeah, how to uninstall yeah. it and install it. From yeah. Because it, it drove me nuts. And then I looked <laughs> and then. And then they said, yeah, you have to get it from the Microsoft store. Hmm. Like it's still the same version if you don't do that, but then it won't work for the background. You won't get all the extra stuff on it. Does, does that, oh, I never went, really went to the trouble of getting that background thing to work properly. Uh, do you need, Windows 11, like, can you do it with what Windows 10? You can do oh, yeah. it with Windows 10. In fact, it's better with Windows 10. Well, this conversation is just about as interesting as Wordle. So let's <laughs> do our categories. Yeah. Well, I'm just telling you that's how I figured it I, out. I know. Thank you very much. All right. So, um, Cindy, Faith, Romero, Kevin, and Gail will be in there too. <laughs> yes. Is that Mim? See, I'm up at the top, or is it no? It's Max. Your cat, your name, team name, please. No, oh. that is the team name. What is it? It's a quiet clucking. I don't know. No, this is Cindy, <laughs> Faith, Romero, and Kevin. A Kevin, yeah, what was that team name? Yes, did, you didn't write it down, Kevin. No, quiet clucking. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> okay, um, we, we don't have to win trivia. Oh, we no. just think we have win trivia. We don't That's have to win trivia. Well. Yeah. Think we won trivia. He just thought he all he had to yeah. do is think that he uh, declassified the documents. And, and they, they were declassified. declassified. All we have to do is think we won and we won. <laughs> that's clever. I'll put it in there. That's uh that's close to that's close to ours, but oh well. No, it's okay. Well, well, we we've got something. 
Uh -oh. Okay, so what is your name, please? <laughs> oh, oh, Sisters. we don't have to win a trivia. We just think we win. Oh, so you do it with your mind. Yep. Brilliant. Wow, is this going to be a first where all five names are the same theme? It could be. <laughs> Here is team two. Okay, no, so US presidents do not have Jedi powers. Jane, Jim, and Rob. <laughs> No, U.S. presidents do not have Jedi powers. I, I follow a um, Scientology thing every morning, and they were like, oh. So These are not the documents you're looking for. They are unclassified. Now. <laughs> he thinks he's got, like, he's using uh, mind powers from the Scientology world. Okay, Peggy, Bob, Kyle, Vincent. Okay, just a sec. I'll get it. Okay, just a sec. We'll get it. <laughs> oh, no, that's not it. Oh no, that's not it. Oh. <laughs> Wait, it's clever and clever. <laughs> Bad joke. Oh, Trump can be classifying his, his pants yeah. just by thinking about it. <laughs> I, I want to know what that means. It's a right Bob. It's 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 for adults. Okay. He, he was wearing diapers recently on an interview. Diapers? What? The, the word is he had adult diapers on when he got interviewed by, I guess it was Fox or somebody the other day. Yeah, I've seen some memes of them showing an x ray vision of. They're, they're not just for bladder control. Really? Oh, look, he drinks at my house. How nice. Thank you for coming and visiting. Uh, <laughs> Can't wait till I actually can. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. Have fun. Caspian. Winchester Mystery House. Winchester Mystery House is first on the list. Forget everything else. <laughs> Yeah, for Winchester Mystery House. Oh, and Michael's. We got to go eat pizza oh. and Michael Mexican food. Oh, okay. the Winchester Mystery House. Oh, I guess I guess I heard a skeptoid episode on that. Yep, and yes, did. so did Adrian. Adrian just rewrote the Wikipedia page. It's wonderful. Okay, so Caspian, Janine, Terry, <clears throat> and water. Also, muddlers. the water muddlers also related to Trump because. No matter what the lawsuit, he muddies the water. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess it does fit. So Blows right. everything down, makes it all confusing. That's true. Jamie, so, Carl, Susan, and Robin will be there. Is Robin here yet? No, huh? Hey. Peggy, she does know she has a category bonus. I, I texted her. She asked today if she had it. And I said, you're supposed to know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. So, but I texted that. her just a few minutes ago and she said she's fine. So okay, she'll be here. She got it. All right. <sighs> and so your cat, your uh, team name, Jamie, Carl, Susie. Declassification by telepathy. All right. <laughs> um, well done. It is a trouble. Well, well, I thought well, somebody would sneak in a Putin reference or something in there. Well, interesting. Well, ours implied Putin. Huh? He was Bob's. putting in his pants. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, that's a stretch. That's that's uh, pretty bad. Thank well, you let's see. Visual. That's uh. Let's see. Putin. A Putin. That's a uh, ch another word for a chamber pot. <laughs> anyway. Putin chamber pot. Huh? Really? A Putin. So, uh, Susan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You'll get a kick out of this one. I heard that uh, psychics are embarrassed by surprise birthday parties. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Who can? All right. So here we go. We are on game 100. And... What was that? Was that? Somebody's, somebody's reporting. Somebody's well, I'm already bored. recording. That was game 126. We're on season three, episode 17. So we're in our third year, 17th game into the season. We have a whole bunch of videos up on the playlist if you guys would like to check those out. They're all there waiting for you to watch. Um, and tonight, tonight, my my friends, we have five categories, five teams that are going to be vying for the for the uh, first place on Social Trivia by Susan, game number 126, which will never be repeated again. So this is really an important moment in everybody's lives right now. Plus we're recording. So hey, that's you never know what's gonna happen. You never know when Netflix is gonna call. So uh, we have the teams that are playing tonight are we don't have to win at trivia, we just think we won versus 
No, U.S. presidents do not have Jedi powers versus <laughs> Trump can declassify in his pants just by thinking about it versus muddy water muddlers versus declassification by telepathy. So we do have a bit of a theme tonight. And our leaders tonight that will be running the <clears throat> different games are Gail, up first, Rob, Peggy, Caspian, and hopefully Robin will be here. All right. Next week, I have Kevin down and I have Jamie who's doing a bonus at the moment and we will we will go from there. And I need to put some other people on your on teams, but I will do that whenever we get ready. So first up is Gil. Where are you, Gil? Hi, Karen. Hi, Mike. I'm here. There you are up in the corner. Okay. We're in hot pink. I should I shouldn't have had a problem finding you there. <laughs> but you all move around. Let's get you guys to sit in one spot. Okay. I'm ready, Gil. Is everybody okay. else ready? Caspian's got the, the hammer tonight. The mute hammer. He's the he's the well, you can go ahead and mute because my category today is I'm good. I decided for the first time to try a mystery category. Excellent. Excellent. <clears throat> so it is a mystery category. You don't get anything for uh, figuring out the category, except that you'll find it a lot easier when you do. Okay, are we ready? Caspian? Once I figure out how you mute everybody. I can't believe I've never had Caspian do this before. It's best you time. have, but I might have been on a different computer. Oh. You go to breakout rooms, there's a thing that says mute all. I have open all. That's it. Oh, mute all. Um, I should be under participants. Under participants. Under participants, yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. And that does not mute yourself. That does not mute you, Caspian. By the way, you get. I'm. The idea is, I'm going to give you some sentences, and I want you to give me the word that satisfies the definition. Number one, a god, the a god of voodoo cults of African origin, worshipped especially in the West Indies. Number two. Grilled chicken skewers, usually seasoned with salt that is popular in Japan. Number three, a musical instrument played by striking a row of wooden bars of graduated length with one or more wooden or plastic mallets. Number four, A grass cultivated for its seed that is a worldwide staple food. Number five. The modern word for the study of the natural event that comes from the name of the ancient Roman god of fire. Number six. Part of, a title, of the title of an 1852 book that was subtitled, Life Among the Lowly. Number seven. Bread that has been heated until the Maillard reaction makes it brown and firm. Question eight. Long, thin, cylindrical pasta. Nine. The birthstone for July. And the gem for the 15th and 40th anniversaries. And number 10, the promotion of false and unproven health schemes for a profit. 
and there is a bonus and the bonus is related to the theme but slightly different from it and that's important to know so let me say that again the bonus is related to the theme but slightly different and the bonus is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog or amazingly few discotheques provide jukeboxes are examples of what? That's it. Here comes Robin. So I assume that will make total sense to us when we get to that point. Once you figure out the theme, it should be fairly easy, I think. Okay, I'm sending everybody to the room. Okay, you, so you just jinked us every time you say that, Gail. We do awful. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it's going to work this time, though. Okay, so I've got a bunch of unassigned. I'm going to assign you to rooms one at a time. It takes a minute because of the um, um, just the way it does. Okay, so we're going to put Robin's definitely going into room five because she's got the bonus. Where'd they go? Karen, you run the floor. Mike, you're going to go into that one. That's three. Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Five. Hello. Adrian, put you in two. Hi, Jane. And I'm going to put you over. Um, Jane's going to go into four. That should even me out pretty good. Okay. And I guess I should go to my room, which is one. I not think it is. Well. Yeah. Okay. Hi, oh. people. Because I thought a xylophone was made out of metal. I, I did too, but because there's another. I, I've seen them made out of wood. It's a flute. Uh -huh. What's that grilled chicken again? Uh, Yaki Tora or Yaki Tori. Tori. Yaki. Yeah. Spell it the that's, best way you can. Yeah, that's phonetic. And um, xylophone. Uh, um, A grass cultivated for its seed. I think um, that's rice. Rice is not corn. Corn is not a seed. Is not grass. It is grass. It's not grass. It is. I think it's rice. It's rice. Rice or rye. Rye, uh, it's rice, rice is staple. Yeah. A staple food. So is corn. Rice probably. But you don't have a staple food. Do you eat corn in every friggin' meal? Yeah, like most of our calories are are corn. In, really? like in the U.S. The U. The, we're we're three hundred and fifty million people. There's about two billion plus that know they eat rice as their staple food. How American centric you must be. Life among the lowly. Or who's the um? I'm, I'm telling everybody this. I want to tell everybody this. Um, I looked at my questions, and I think the first answer is deceptive. Get rid of the a god of and just say about in the first question. About it's Voodoo. It's not the cult. god that I'm looking for. It's the name of the cult. Oh, Voodoo. About Voodoo yeah. cult? How do you want to word it, Gail? Just get rid of the a god of and substitute 
about about voodoo cults of African origin. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. I'm all of them now. And you got your powers. So you should be able to so go. What are them. you? What are you looking for? The name of the, the name cult? of a cult. Okay. A voodoo cult. Scientology. I don't freaking know voodoo cult. Voodoo. <laughs> You do, who do, who do, who do, you do, who do, who do, like you do. Nobody does voodoo like you do. No, there was a guy who wrote a book, Who Do Voodoo You Do. Mm -hmm. David Letterman. He was on David Letterman a couple times. I don't know the voodoo cult. I, I don't know the Muffin Man because I've never been to Drury Lane. Um, who is the Roman god of fire? The God of Fire. Well, in, in Spanish, fire is fuego. Doesn't that sound like kind of familiar with the God of Fuego? Um, oh, Mer wasn't Mercury the God Mercury? that brought the fire or something? Well, then I think what, like, more like. But he was a messenger God, right? Not the God of yeah, Fire. The, yeah, messenger God is. Cause, I mean, that's the god that had the wings on the hills. Oh, the, what about that, the one that stole the fire from the gods? Uh, that was a human. Oh. Or was it Apollo? Because Apollo gave fire to the humans. Volcano? Vulcan? Vulcan? Apocalyptic, maybe. Modern word for the study of natural events. Apocalyptic? I don't, maybe, I don't know. The Vulcan would work. Yeah, but what is the modern word for the study well, of volcano, Vulcan. Volcanism? Volcanism. Vulcanization. Vulcanism. Yeah, let's put vulcanization. It'll make sense when we get to xylophone, is, rice, Vulcan. Vulcanization is like when you have tires. E Y A B C D E F G. Are you sure about two? I've never heard of that word. Yakitori. Jack well, what's what, number one probably begins with the letter V. I'm going to get kicked out. I have to come back in a few minutes. I think this stuff, hold on. So, number Write the six. alphabet out. Write the alphabet out for me. Just show me what the alphabet looks like. And I need to know the little. <laughs> need to see what order the letters are. Okay. So, no, the answer to number four isn't right. It has to be something that begins with a W because number There's one, wheat. I think, wheat, wheat. Number four is wheat, because what I think this is, is all the answers start with a letter in reverse of the alphabet. Oh, that makes sense. Because so number uh, one has to begin with the Z. It's the bonus. Number two is yakitori, then xylophone, then wheat, then volcanism. So number six, what's the, well, number six has to begin with the letter U. The U? Six. Yeah, because uh, we're going in the revert, we're doing the alphabet in reverse. Okay, so what did you say number one was? No, I, it begins with the letter Z, and I have no idea mm. what. Zo, zo, Zoastrophorian? Zoom, no. Zoom, zoom, no. Zumba, Zumba, Zumba. Let's zoom, go. Zoom. Zumba. Zoom. 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 It's Zertle. <laughs> Something to do with zombies, maybe? Zombie? Zombie? Could it be zombie? I don't know. Yeah, go to zombie. Go yeah, to zombie. I, think, I think you're right. I think you're right, Romero. I think it's just as simple as zombie. We were overthinking it. <laughs> Really? Zombie has only one O. Zumbi. <laughs> Zumbi, but we're Zumbies because oh. we're going to oh, we be a zombie on a Zoom call and be Zumbies for Halloween. So, um, a U. Life Utopia. Could it be the book part Utopia? Of, part of the title. No. I've heard of that, I think. The book Utopia. Ulysses? Oh, we can Ulysses. Oh, Ulysses. Let's go with Ulysses. I've never read it. Well, it's not really oh, a book. It's a poem. It's a poem. And oh, that was ancient. Toast and then well, I know Ulysses is really old. Spaghetti is number eight. Hey, yes, yeah, what I thought. Spaghetti. Yeah, and then Ruby is number nine. What letter for seven? Uh, number seven is a T. It's toast. Oh. Mm -hmm. The Maillard reaction just means browning. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mostly, you see it with the oh. oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Letter ten oh, is what? So that should be with skepticism. Q. No S. No. Oh, um, 
Hence, we have spaghetti. Q. So Q, I think uh, quack maybe. Quackery. Quackery. And then the bonus is that each letter starts with a. It's that it uses letter the alphabet. The letter of the alphabet, but I don't know. Only once. The no, quick brown amazing fox jumps uses, over the so dog. Text uses it more than once, but it uses the quick brown fox only uses each letter of the alphabet once. But amazingly few discotheques provide jute boxes, has duplicates, but it uses every single letter of the alphabet, which all of these use every single. What is so it we again? say Ulysses for six. We don't have anything else. Uh, yeah. So the bonus. We'll protest to come back. Cindy's writing. I think we got every question wrong. <laughs> That was clever, clever, Gail. Oh, yes. Different. I'm kidding. Uh, when we go back, Susan, I I forgot and I went to the wrong room, last room. Ah, we'll live. Send me I, back to one. I did, Are we ready? Yeah, this well, one was I, almost I as easy as I have a feeling that you ABC. really did do very well from what I saw, because I think every team figured out the, yeah. the answers. Yeah. We're okay. all looking for a The song. theme was the alphabet backwards. Yeah. One is zombies. Two is yakitori. Three is xylophone. Four is wheat. Five is volcanology. Six was uncle from Uncle Tom's cabin. Oh, oh. that was. Yeah. Oh. Seven is toast. Eight is spaghetti. Nine is ruby. 10 is quackery, and I will put them all in the chat. And the bonus was a pangram, and I didn't think anybody would know it, but I know at least one team. I saw Carl had the right, called it a pangram, but it's also a sentence that contains all 26 letters of the alphabet. Yeah. What's the word? P-A-N? Pangram? Pangram. Pangram. As well, a pan as it all. Okay. Yeah. All the letters, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, now we that have to have the actual word pangram or as long as we knew it was a sentence with every letter of the alphabet. As long as you knew it was a sentence with everyone, because I didn't think anybody was going to know the word pangram. Yeah. <laughs> you have to. You have to. Well, now, that you told, uh, now that you've told me it, uh, it, 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 it makes perfect sense. And yeah. That's you know, and, and, e. and per what I said, Jill, you know, I have never heard that before. Gail? Yeah. If you play spelling bee after you play Wordle, each yeah. it's seven letters and each puzzle has a pangram, but that's, in that case, it's not a whole sentence, but it's. <laughs> It's a word that has all. Are you trying to start words. another cult here? <laughs> no, I'm just, already I already have a ban on Wordle. Wordle. I was trying You're to on, start a fight. Yeah. Yeah. You're, You're on thin, it thin, we beat thin Wordle ice really well. That's a pangram. That has an A in it. I thought I thought a pangram was a message delivered by the flying boy from Never Never Land. After you left the island, you had to get a job. What the land shark tried to convince you was delivering pangram. <laughs> we don't allow that word here, so I think we might have had all tens or close to it. That was pretty good. I'm just getting the answers in the answer here. Panagram. Yeah, we used to use the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog when you're buying a, you know, you're testing out a laptop or whatever. So you can make sure everything works. Had anybody ever seen that second one? No, I haven't. Anybody? I don't no, think that's so. I, I couldn't spell discotheque. I would have made God. it harder if I had only used the second one, oh. right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, Katori, yeah. Yeah, because he uses letters more than once. And Quick Brown Fox is only, only one time. You know, no, every letter it? once. Uh, Quick Brown Fox? No, yeah, it, 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 it uses no, only No, it's not twice. only once. Is that it's right? Got a, it's got Always a, a bunch of times. It's got a couple okay, of never mind. Oh, I'll cut that out of the video. <laughs> Yeah. Every letter at least once. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So go. there are a few, there are multiple O's. Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, I think you're right. The, okay, so let's ask, let's ask the, the, the R's, course. Bunch of E's. Yeah. The classification by telepathy. Uh, 10. All right, 10. Water muddlers. 10. Trump can declassify in his pants just by thinking about it. Ten. Ten. I think you made oh. it a little too easy, Gail. <laughs> I think so. No, U.S. presidents do not have Jedi powers. Ten. 
and we don't have to win at trivia. We just think we won. Ten. Yeah. Hey. I sense a theme to the team names tonight. Yeah. Just <laughs> Every one of them. That's a first, I think. Okay. For some reason, I cannot get the score to average here. Somebody uh, again. Yeah, I know. It was one of the most that. bizarre things said by a U.S. president, ex or current, at any time in history. And I watched the interview, and Sean Hannity is going, "Huh, uh huh, okay." Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. It's uh -huh. just. Uh -huh. yeah, I wonder. Uh -huh. I wondered at what point it would just what? be too much. Apparently, no point. Apparently, literally, no point. No point. Yeah. Well, you, well, you know what? Everybody's yeah. watching it, right? They're all like. Oh, and I've watched that interview, so it's really giving them good clicks. So of course they're gonna have to do it with a straight yeah. face. And these are intellectual um, classes, isn't how it? many people have heard this notion that uh uh it's a sign of devotion to the group, especially cult, the more absurd the thing is you're expected to believe. Yeah, that could be. Yeah. I think that's true. I don't know if I've ever heard it. Yeah, nobody starts out with a cult like Hey everybody, we're gonna believe these all right. absolutely so, ridiculous so the, things. It's always like a slow trickle. Of there, and it has started a new culmination now. I watched a video today, which a book is out. Uh, Donald Trump, son of man, and then this whole video was showing this very popular televangelist talking about the new religion, which is Donald Trump mm -hmm. is the son of man, and it explains what that means biblically. Holy crap! It's actually a new branch of real, of Christianity, or maybe in other. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. easily. You're getting ready yeah. for the martyr thing. Yeah. Okay, Rob, you're up next. Okay, so this is a first of a first, I think. I don't know. We've ever done two mystery themes in one night in a row, and it's my first time. Ooh. Uh oh, Kevin, you started a. a... It's just a fad. <laughs> just a fad. <laughs> you guys are mocking me. It's fun. Ah, ah. It's so easy to do. Kevin. It's so Mocker. fun. But I like it. Okay. So, question number one is This American actress who died in 2019 began her career as a big band singer. In 2004, she was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. As of 2020, she was one of just eight recording artists to have been the top box office earner in the United States four times. Number two, he spent his entire 13 year career with the New York Yankees. Number three, following Stalin's death, he temporarily emerged as a Soviet leader's undisputed successor by replacing him as both premier and the head of the party apparatus. Number four. This is the most common thermoplastic polymer resin of the polyester family and is used in fibers for clothing, containers for liquids and foods and thermoforming for manufacturing among other uses. The scientific name is polyethylene terephthalate. By what one word name is it more commonly known? I need to mute everybody because I forgot to do so. Thank you, Caspian. Everyone was nice and quiet though. I thought it was muted. Number five. This was the first rock and roll record to top the pop charts in both the US and the UK. Number six, this is the surname of the Russian author of a famous novel. It is also the name of a microbiologist scheduled to appear at PsyCon a month from right now. Number seven, this is a war film based on the 1952 novel written by Pierre Boulet, who also did Planet of the Apes, by the way. Uh, the cast includes William Holden and Alec Guinness, and it won seven Academy Awards. So not a little film. Number eight. This African nation borders both Angola and Uganda. Number nine. This book was a breakthrough bestseller with themes of sexual freedom and liberation. 
it coined a term derived from an invented language, which means to drink, but figuratively means to comprehend, to love, or to be one with. The word rapidly became common parlance among science fiction fans and hippies, and eventually was added to the Oxford English Dictionary. Name the book. Number 10. He was one of the Mercury 7 astronauts. And I have a bonus. Number 11 is this American television game show created by Merv Griffin was aired continuously from 1975. Don't know if I spelled Merv right here, but it doesn't matter. And that's it. Any questions? If anybody's asking questions, they're muted. I don't hear any questions. Okay. Go to your rooms. Kevin, we're I have to be in? sent to room one. One? Room one. One. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We gotta do like like the Nazi salute that these morons are doing now. Seven is bridge. Seven is bridge on the river Kwai. Oh. Eight is Democratic Republic of Congo. Used to be. Uh, nine is Stranger in a Strange Land. Wow. <laughs> How do you spell the river Kwai? How do you spell Kwai? Uh, I, th I think I've seen it as K-W-A-I. What was eight again, Jim? Uh, Democratic Republic of Congo. The one that was Zaire for a few decades. Uh, I'm pretty sure John Glenn was one of the Mercury Seven. You know this one, Troy? And Ooh. I'm guessing that the bonus is Jeopardy. What was number nine again? What was yeah. the book you said? Uh, Stranger in a Strange Land by Heinlein. Yeah, that's I think and I read the word that is, years ago. And the word is Grok. It's spelled wrong. The word is what? G-R-O-K, Grok. G-O-K. Uh, <laughs> for, for, the, the word referred to in question nine is Grok, G -R Grok. Okay. Oh, I don't even. I had never heard of it. Okay, so what oh, about okay. for? Okay, I, I, I guess I, like, I, I guess I'm the only super nerdy science fiction book fan. In, I in, read that book, and I read that it was book hundred years ago. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I wouldn't remember the word. Yeah, but John J Jim always remembers all this stuff. You should see him at book club. He pulls that stuff out of his head. <laughs> okay, so what do we got for yeah. answers? American actress. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't figure that one out. Yeah, number one, I don't know. I, I think you're right about Jeopardy. That's the only game that I can think Makes of that's yeah. still on. Um, um, you don't have to. It just helps. It can just help with um, getting the answers. I'll be up in a sec. Thank okay, you. so number two, what do you guys got? Because I missed all that. Yeah, we don't have number. We don't have number one or number two. Oh, so. Yeah. The Yankees was, um, it wasn't Yogi Berra, was it? Mm. It was Babe Ruth? No. I well, maybe it'll make it sense. Get traded? Okay, what was three? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Khrushchev. Khrushchev. I, I, I don't think there was anybody between Stalin and Khrushchev. How do you spell Khrushchev? Uh, now, for like polyethylene terephthalate, it's abbreviated to PET, i.e. PET. Well, I was thinking just plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but... Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Wait. Let me let me just read this because common thermo of the polyethylene terephthalate, and I think that's abbreviated to PET. I, I, at fine. least I've seen it. Uh, so, Pat. Okay, what oh. was number five? 
Five rock first rock and roll. It's got to be a Beatles. Um, a what, record. What, so it'd be the album. Yeah, the whole album. Oh, whole album or whole? Yeah. No, well, album, I, was, I was thinking it was a single. Or just a forty-five with a single. Yeah, I was thinking. Oh. It was yeah, so that would prob probably. I want to hold your hand. Album. It might be like an Elvis Presley then. That's. I, I don't know. No. I, don't know if, I don't know if Elvis Presley was popular in, in, not the, in the UK. Or not not well, that popular. Not at the beginning. Of the the US. Beatles said, right? If we got. I want to hold your hand. Was I'm, that thinking, the first one? I'm thinking it would be a British, like someone from the British invasion. Well, really, I think the Beatles were the, the were first ones, right? That Maybe. Yeah. Highly popular in both US and UK. Yep, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Do we have six? I remember, oh, uh, I remember I want to hold your hand being, you know, when I was like in kindergarten, I was like singing oh. that song. Uh, okay, we could go with that. Something will make sense. It's a mystery category. So what did you oh. guys have for six? I think that if it was the whole record, I would have gone with Sergeant Pepper. No, Ooh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. That's way that later. later. Okay. I think we did find out recently that Sergeant Pepper was the most popular. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. That was one of the questions we had a few weeks ago, remember? Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm thinking of. Do you guys have number okay. six? Russian author no. and, and microbiologist. Think of some Russian named micro uh, people that are appearing at Psycho. Who, who is who is Rob interviewed? <laughs> I'm trying to think of them all. I don't remember names too well. <laughs> well, he did he did Lint. Okay. Well, it, Maybe in that's any it. case, I'm drawing a blank on six. I six like is not a Russian name. Doesn't matter. It's a good foreign name. <laughs> what name? Lint. L e n t s. Um, no, he he. O t s. No, yeah, maybe not. I was thinking no. he's at. Oh. Or something. By the way, who's recording this to put this on the? Uh... Susan, oh. anywhere Susan goes, it follows her. Yeah, it follows yeah. me. Yeah. So if I go to another, okay. so this is the only time this room will be recorded. So surname of a Russian author of a famous novel. Well, I mean, who, uh, War and Peace. Uh, what's the guy's name? Oh, the brothers Karamaza. Oh. Is there well, Karamaza? Not Tolstoy. The not Tolstoy. The other one. The other one. The other guy. Not Tolstoy. Who's on? Uh, no. Well, Russian novelists, there's Tolstoy, there's... Uh, uh, Who did Anna Karenina? Yeah, the, 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 um, the, the one that wrote the... Uh, one that starts with a D. What about Solzhenitsyn? Is, uh, Dostoevsky. Dostoevsky. Yeah. 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 We don't have anybody named Dostoevsky. No. Icon. No. Um, okay, let's see if we come up with anything for, for a... Okay, we're certain of Democratic Republic of Congo, Stranger in a Strange Land, and the Bridge over the Rid River Kwai, Kwai, right? Yeah. We're positive about those. Yeah. yeah. What do they have in common? They and all the have chef. We're pretty pretty certain with that one too. So something to do with a river, something to do with bridges, something to do with lands. They're all multi-word. Yeah, Congo. Something Kwai. in Africa. Uh, stranger to strange land, strange land. Let's see if you if you take John Glenn for number ten, does that help? Glenn, Glenn, yeah, Glenn, yeah. Glenn I, 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 is like a, a land, like a geographic. Like, oh, could it be all like river, a Glen, a oh, land, yeah. Congo? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? But river. Jeopardy oh. is not. And I want to hold your hand. Why do we have Jeopardy? And same with Nikita Khrushchev. It's not going to fit. Okay, uh, John. Because okay. even if even if Khrushchev is wrong, unless American TV game show created by yeah. Or but Grit, does anybody know enough bunch. Russian to say? Does anybody know enough Russian to say what Khrushchev means in Russian? Maybe it means oh, something bad for yeah. it. Uh, uh, seventy-five. Okay, he's also had Family Feud. He's that's still on. Uh, Will of Fortune, I think he did. Um, that would be on. Yeah, he's he did like every. He did every, a bunch of them. So let's see, what would have something that would have he like, did, like a dating game and is that is that still on? No, 
No, I don't God, think no. I he did. Every Real Fortune is still on, and um, what was the other one you said, Susan? Uh, oh, Family Feud. Family Feud. But Family uh, Feud did the pyramid, the twenty-five thousand dollar pyramid. I think he did. Um, oh, let's make a deal. So, or the, no, no, what is it called? Not let's make a deal. The other one I was on. I went to the show. Oh, I know what you mean. The one where you bid on things. And, yeah, it's uh, um, Price is Right. Um, price is Right. Yeah, but those don't sound like they have anything to do with a land or no. Nope. Any of those? Okay, well, we'll come back to that. Um, okay, so the rock and roll record. I want to hold your hand. No. Mm -hmm. Um. Jan Jane, what's another really popular Beatles hit that was popular back when we were kids? Well, I'm just running through some in my like, mind. But like that one. Come with a geographic word, um, but um, like I'm thinking of things like um, it's been a hard day's night. Hard. Uh, yeah. In fact, uh, that's later too. Um, okay, so number four, we had love, pet love or me plastic. Dude. Plastic isn't going to fit. Pet's not going to fit. We might be wrong on the category. Yeah. But it's sort of, it's, it's so close, you know? Let's okay, see if we can come up player. with another, another Vera? Answer. Yogi, Vera? No. Mm. Um, babe. Oh. Who wrote? Oh, the, oh. oh, the guy who died of Alzheimer's. What was his name? Lou Gehrig. Yeah, Lou. Oh, Gehrig. I think that's a good answer. But Gehrig is not a landmass or anything, right? Yeah. I don't think so. I know. Lou Gehrig answer. That's that's okay. American actress who died in 2018. 19 year career as a big band singer. It's not Betty White, right? No. She's did I don't know. She's not well known as a singer. Well, she no. began her career as a singer. Oh, oh, okay. Recording artist, one of the top big band artists. singer. Uh Medal of Freedom. And a recording artist. Uh, top box office earner you better give us some time because this is hard um so we would have heard Liza of minnelli no she didn't die recently. she's, she's still alive I she think. Died? presidential medal of freedom uh so. would this be uh would this be some black actress who did something in the civil rights thing something related to the civil rights that sounds thing? good as a big band singer. I'm, I'm oh, trying to. Oh, what's the, um, we got to think. Think about your. Aretha, Aretha Franklin. Franklin. Oh, that makes sense. She, she didn't <laughs> die, did she? Oh, yeah, she died. Yeah, she died just. She died? Like, yeah, around. Oh, but I don't think she died in 2019. I thought she died. Oh, in oh yeah. No, that no. or something. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. She's saying she's, 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 I didn't even know she no, died. No, she's dead. She's dead, yeah. I was very upset because I was a huge fan. Okay, Aretha Franklin. And Aretha, Franklin. Does that Aretha, have anything to do with land masses? Franklin, Gary, get Franklin presidents? I don't know. Or, yeah, Franklin, Khrushchev. But that doesn't really make sense. Was there a president, Glenn? <laughs> Aretha, Lou. Franklin. Okay. Aretha Franklin. Two we still don't know. But, but we're guessing. Guessing Lou Gehrig. Going Gary. with the guess of Lou Gehrig. Yeah, for now, anyway. Because that's a short time, 13 years. Yeah, and, and he died. He died. So, yeah, while yeah. he was still a player. Yeah. Um, uh, how do you spell Krucha? Uh, K R S. Who's. Okay, I, I, I wrote it down as K R U S C H E V, but I I wouldn't bet too much on me getting the, the, the spelling right. Better than okay. my spelling. <laughs> so number four. Okay, I wrote down 
PET for poly is the short form for polyethylene terephthalate. Could any of those words be yes. blend related? No. No, a lot of our answers aren't. So maybe it's not land related. I was just going with the things we were sure of. Yeah. They have in common. Yeah, you know, I wonder if he's pulling a, um, a Kevin where it's, these are, there's going to be names of somebody from a series. Like it'll be sci-fi if it's, if it's Rob. Oh yeah. Like from yeah. Star Trek. So there was an Aretha and maybe a Gehrig or a Lou. Yeah. Like, oh, 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 yeah, you're probably right. Okay, so that makes more sense. Okay, Gehrig. Isn't there a Gehrig uh, a Vulcan or something? Yeah. Gehrig. Oh, or, uh, you'd be better with that. And number three, the, 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 there might have been a Nikita in some show. I think so. That's a pretty common name in those shows. Um, okay, Pet. Uh, then there's oh, Chekhov. There's got to be the the. Yes, and Star Trek, and that, that's who, and so that'll be that's the author. That's yeah. The author. Is that the author on number? Yes. We have a we have a Chekhov coming to Psycon. <laughs> Apparently, we just learned that. <laughs> I've never heard of a Chekhov. So okay, so then it is definitely going to be Star Trek then. Right? Okay, so Congo, what's Congo got to do with Star Trek? Um, the original oh. series. It or Dominican like. Republic. Oh. <laughs> there must be somebody <laughs> named Congo. <laughs> or a place how, about, how about Glenn? Uh, okay, so we know oh. there's no Jeopardy. So 11 would be... Bridge on the River. Okay, but Okay, if the movie is Bridge on the River Kwai, how does that relate to Star Trek? Are because you... they have a bridge. 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 Hey, <laughs> very you good. Go, Jay. <laughs> and I think Stranger in a Strange Land might have been an episode name. That I think is right. Okay, so and Rock and John Glenn, Glenn, just because what what would John Glenn be? Just because maybe there's a character named John or a character Glenn named Captain Glenn. Glenn? Yeah, but, sure. the, but 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 John Glenn would be only one of the Mercury Seven. I'm just I, yeah, I'm thinking the one I'm most sure was. Uh, who else? Uh, was Buzz? Oh, Aldrin? no. Oh, Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin. Neil Armstrong. Oh. Armstrong. Okay. Was there yeah. A professor, okay. Uh, Captain Armstrong. Was there a Kirk? <laughs> oh, was there a, a Kirk? Or a a James? Or a I'm thinking it's the original Spock series. or a, or a, um, what was yeah. the girl, the, the ladies? The Uhura. 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 Yes. Maybe or, the name is Aretha Uhura. <laughs> or, uh, what's or that Prime guy, what, what's the, the guy, um, the guy that, um, George. Oh, Tenkai. would Nicole Nichols have been, uh, have, uh, uh, this is hard, Rob. Yeah, uh, the, it, the, 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 the woman who played Uhura. Yeah, Nicole Nichols. Nichelle. Yeah, Nichelle Nichols. Michelle. That's right. So I wanted to be in a room when some when when the team got the theme, and I I just missed it. Like I, no one knew it. I went out, and then I went back, and then they had changed all their answers to be right because they figured out what the theme was. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, like, okay. We so, out the theme, but we still like getting the answers. <laughs> okay. You figured out the theme? I think so. Yeah. I'm not sure. Okay, so. What's if, the thing? So we think it's somehow Star Trek related. Uh, anyway. First generation, the original series. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So one would be Nichelle Nichols. I'm. I, I think it's Nichelle, or is it Michelle? It's Nichelle. N I. Okay. Okay. So Nichelle. And. Uh, and her name is Uhura, and recently I read that what her first name was revealed to be recently, but I can't remember because it was only revealed recently in the show. She didn't have a first name. Mm. Which answer do you think she fits? It might be number one. Yeah, it'd be number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. American actress. Yeah. So it yeah. might have been it might have been Franklin Uhura or no Aretha no. Uhura. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
thing. Yeah. Okay, well, okay, but 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 we're being asked for the actress, not yeah. So yeah. so I mean I, I mean Aretha Franklin was an actress. She was in yeah. quite a few. Okay, movies. yeah, but she, Aretha but Franklin was, was an actress. Office, but was she a big box office earner in the United States? For as a time? singer, yeah, but not as a singer. as a singer yeah. actress. What is yeah. she was in? As what do you think? Blues office? Brothers for one yeah, thing. But, oh yeah. But, but yeah. what do you well, think? Well, if if the theme if the theme is Star Trek, that the number one has to be uh, uh, Nichelle Nichols, right? Can, but she it, was in she a be... top box. Well, and she, she just died like a, a month ago, not twenty twenty. Oh, oh, okay. Nineteen. That's right. Good. Good call. We're not in twenty twenty anymore, even though it's still sometimes. I, I like still like Aretha Franklin because I'm pretty sure that's around when she died. Was around twenty twenty. What's her connection to Star Trek, and what is, and what, what did, how do you think that she was a big? No, I don't. I don't think she has. There's a connection for her. I think there's somebody named Franklin. And Aretha. Oh, named okay, Franklin. Aretha. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. That's my guess. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. Is there an yeah? And is there an Akita showing up somewhere in the? Uh, this is uh, in Star Trek. Chekhov. Right. I got Troy oh, here. Oh, and the okay, thermoplastic. Okay, polyethylene terephthalate. What is the one? What by what word common name? What word common name is a common name? Was known? the the computer called Pet on Star Trek? No. <laughs> oh. The computer was called computer. You know what was that? Com oh, was it? Yeah, you yeah. would that's say computer. computer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't even know for sure we've got this. I we may not have it right. Yeah, yeah. like, uh, and of course, in the, in two thousand and one, Hal was one went ahead of IBM. Right. Yeah, or Oric. You know, Diane Carroll died. Who's that? Oh, who is that? Well, she was Julia. Um, Aww. And <laughs> And then, yeah. and then later she was on. Um, She's not. You know that show Dynasty. I think it was. Oh, I never saw it. I never saw that either. But she no, was I a guess. singer, and she was the first black actress to have a TV show where she played like just a normal person. Mm -hmm. You know, she was a nurse. Yeah. Oh. Uh, first rock and roll chart. First rock and roll record, and it's Blackbird. No, that was in the seventies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're looking at something in the fifties, probably or early. Yeah. Season. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. So if it wasn't, I want to hold your hand. What was the other one? There was another one. That was super popular. Um, love. Love, love me do. Love, love me do. Yeah, it'd be um, something like that. Love, love, love me do. I'm trying to think the early, early. Um, let's see. Um, oh, what's that one? Um, shake it up, baby. Was that? Shake it up, baby. Twist, twist and shout. Twist. Shout. Twist, twist and, and shout. shout. Twist, twist and shout. shout. Seems like that's. Come on, come on, come on, baby. It seems like a little later too. Mm, but probably oh this is really hard i don't like this i i can't use my brain anymore i always just want to reach for my phone and i know, I keep, I know. <laughs> you know what that's true same with spelling i have to ask yeah. suri to spell things yeah, for me I, well i've always been that way that's just I, i'm just like oh. i'm not gonna figure oh, this out well okay well uh at least uh autocorrect uh, uh can't help well, yeah, oh, gives, gives me the gives me possible alternates. Okay. Yeah. So the here me ask Mark. Mark, what? what was the first rock and roll record to top the pop charts in both the U.S. and U.K.? The first rock and roll record to pop the charts in U.S. and pop the charts. Uh, rock around the clock. Bill Haley in the comics. Yeah, you're gonna rock, rock around. Know, maybe 
we're trying to fit a theme so we're we're not sure of our answers um, it, could be, it could be something from that whole you know like what was the other question we, we were stuck on this one we're it could be like one. okay let me ask mark this other question mark yeah this american actress who died in 2019 Seven. began her career as a big band singer <laughs> In 2004, she was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. As of 2020, she was one of just eight recording artists to have been the top office earner in the United States four times. Uh, that's the one who sings. Um. <laughs> he says it's somebody who sings the song Fever. The way these ghosts uh, appear above the Could people. that be Ella Fitzgerald? Or oh, no, would that so... be... Could it be Aretha Franklin? No. I, I don't, I was thinking, what's her name? Troy, that looks Peggy too weird. Lee. Peggy Lee? Oh, Peggy Lee. Yeah. Did she just die? Uh, yeah. That makes sense, Peggy Lee. Yeah. yeah. Was she, yeah. What would she have won a Presidential Medal of Freedom for? Just, he gives it to the president gives that to people for just being like you know really influential actors or singers or okay do you want peggy lee over aretha franklin i don't know i think aretha franklin died in 2018 or something i don't think she recently died oh really i thought it well was this is 2019 that we're looking for mm. oh yeah troy do you know Oh, he doesn't know that one. He's, oh. he's looking at and like, he can't you know, hear us anyway. Try, no. try, 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 try. And your name over and over again. <laughs> try, try. Can you hear me? No, he can't hear you. <laughs> Here, you want these on? Sure. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything now. If he can hear me now, I can't. I'm not going to say anything. Try, 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 try. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's just too weird. He's in my house. Yeah. Ghost to me in my house. That's creeping me out now. And it's daylight over there. That's freaking weird. And my and my accent. No, those are freesias that are blooming. Okay, so we got to come out and answer, guys. What do you guys would say, Aretha Franklin or Peggy Lee? I have no idea. Either one. We don't if, know what the theme is. If Mark thinks it's Peggy Lee, then let's go with Peggy Lee. Again. Okay, so. Are we taking uh, number two to be Lou Gehrig? Yeah. Good to guess. Maybe please, Jeff. Um, okay, rock and roll record. Rock around the clock. Well, we don't know what the freaking theme is. It makes sense if we knew what the theme was. Yeah. 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 Number okay. for number five, I I'm I just have I mean I may be wrong, but it just feels like the first one that went in both US and UK was the Beatles. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. But, but which song? Be something earlier, yeah. I, I want to hold your hand. Okay, let's go with the that first. That is probably the. Rob, we're stuck. Wow. You have no theme, Rob. We have a theme, but it's not. We know. It's like, not we cold enough. We have two different themes now. <laughs> yeah, we got a we got a theme that. <laughs> Well, one team, one team got it, the one I expected to. Right. Uh, and they're sitting there back with probably, I don't see their answers, but they're probably all right. Yeah. Uh, and the other one team where the ringer on it has no clue, which shocks me. <laughs> okay, so number six, you guys, I think we got that wrong. I don't I don't think there's any speaker at Psycon with that name. What's the name you came up with? Check. Check off. Check off. There's no, there's no speaker at Psycon with the name of Chekhov. Hmm. <sighs> it yeah, be. Rob, it's your team. But there's no Tolstoy either, so. <laughs> <laughs> no Dostoevsky. Oh, God. <laughs> Her name of the Russian author of a famous novel. Yeah. It's also she... the name of a microbiologist scheduled. To... Okay, now who else has Rob interviewed that could be have a Russian last name. Good week. question, Susan. I know I'm I'm going written over my mind. Lintz is not. I can't remember them too. What's that woman's name? Or or Wella? What's her name? Naomi? Or that's not that's not Russian. Didn't he interview uh, Gillette? 
Jelutsky. Finn. <laughs> that's Russian. He interviews. Oh, that sounds more French. Yeah. Yeah. Who else is <laughs> interviewed that would have a Russian name? Wiseman. I just thought, I just <laughs> watched you, you interview somebody just the other day. I just watched one. Yeah. Lentz. I just finished watching it and now yeah. it's out of my mind what else he's done. Okay. Lentz sounds Russian. But it's L E N T S. Come on. Oh. What famous novel could. No. I was thinking L E N T Z. Uh, yeah, with a Z. Mm -mm. Okay, Susan, how long do I let this torture go on for? <laughs> We're still working on it. I know everyone else is. I just don't have a long enough to do this. We've got 10 points right now. You know now. what, Rob, lose. you're going to have to put up with it. You wrote this category. Uh, you no. wrote this category. It's your fault. It so is. if you can't put up with the pressure, then you need to go take a break. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Looking at you. Do you remember who the asked? I'm, 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 this is the funniest one I've ever been at because like people are making all these weird connections and coming up with this, this theme and that theme. And I'm just, I'm, tears are coming out of my eyes and I'm partly <laughs> crying and partly laughing. Well, that's nice to know. You could be like, we feel like my cat trying to go through that cat door right now. Oh, what about this one? <laughs> these are the ones that we've come up with. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I, I would say. Yeah. I would you know, say what we might be proving is just that you can connect dots to Star Trek with anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's say. All right. So, number, okay. He also likes Marvel films. Mm. Yeah. I wouldn't have a clue. Okay. Yeah. The so Marvel if it's piece. Peggy Lee, he, he knows the, the Marvel stuff. So he, he okay. would probably be able so to. So if the first one is Peggy Lee, oh. that gives us nothing. Yeah. Uh, Stan <laughs> Lee. Stan, 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 Stan Lee. Stan Lee. Who's that? He's I mean, guy. I know who that is. He's a comic book person, right? Oh, what's that got to do with? And he's in all the the Marvels, right? Is I mean, Marvels? he cameoed in every one. In every one until he died. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's true. Oh my God! We'd have to we have to start over. <laughs> uh, okay, so is there a Lou somehow involved with the Marvel films? Oh, not off the How about a Glenn? Uh, I feel like there might be, but I think and, it's... and the Stranger is was it is Doctor, Doctor Strange? Strange is the <gasps> oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, okay. don't say anything, to Rob. I want him to feel like if he comes back in here, we what don't got it. What about the bonus question? Let's put Congo, him in. Congo, though, I don't know about Congo. I haven't watched all of them, so uh, yeah, okay. So Troy, you're gonna have to help us. We don't. We okay, don't so I don't know any Marvel is, stuff. So is there an okay? So is there an Akita in one of the Marvel films? Um. Because I've got Nikita Khrushchev for number th question three. Yeah, there, I'm trying to think. Like, yeah. How about a Lou Gehrig? <laughs> or a Lou? <laughs> or any baseball player's name. Or any baseball player. Like Abe, uh, um, uh, name a baseball player. I don't know. Um, Babe Ruth? Yeah, Ruth, Babe, Ruth, Babe, Ruth. Ruth. What, what are some other basic? Okay, so there's been Marvels. There's the Captain America, right? Yeah. That's a Marvel. I don't know. I'm yeah. asking. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so is there any of these answers Captain or America related? Okay. Uh, um, uh, Iron Man, yeah. Um, Iron Man? Ant Man. Okay. What and are the Wasp? The Wasp, yeah. Um, was Thor? Yeah. Thor, yeah. But what are their other names? Like other characters within the um would it be a Peggy? Oh, there, we already there, said there, Lee. We like this, right? There is Lee, a Peggy, Peggy in Marvel. There's Peggy. Yeah. Oh my a, god. Okay. Is there a Polly is in uh, is in <laughs> is in plastics, is in poly. <laughs> <laughs> is there a pet? A pet P -E -P? Uh, or um a quai? A river? Or a, 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 a river? Or a river? <laughs> oh, there's a river in, in, well, that's a different, that's or not. Or a bridge? Oh, this is silly. We're getting <laughs> silly. This is, can't be right. <laughs> well, I, I'm, what about the game show? Well, they're always in jeopardy. Family fruit. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> 
Okay, there's Marvel. It's all um, feel like a little bit of a stretch. It's Captain all America. America. It's a stretch for a wheel or a fortune. Wolverine. <laughs> uh, what? Wolverine. Uh, he has Marvel. Yeah. Are they all just Marvel? No. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> the the, the non Marvel ones are like Batman, Superman, Aquaman. Oh, anything that ends in man, huh? Those are all DC. Um. And then there's also the non-Marvel and non-DC superheroes. Spider-Man. No, okay. Spider-Man is Marvel. All right. Let's think this out, team. We cannot be Spider-Man team. Spider-Man. We cannot be that team that cannot figure this out. Because you know who it is who's got it all freaking figured out. Oh, maybe it's... One that at the very end, they'll say... Maybe it's Pete Rose. Huh? Pete Rose? Rose? Is there a Rose? No, it's in- Peter Parker. From uh, Spider Man. Yeah, that's a stretch, Pete Rose. <laughs> All of this is a stretch. <laughs> oh, I know. Well, that well, that would be uh, that. that would I be think Rose one. was on the New York Yankees, wasn't he? I'm not sure. Yeah. I can't remember. Stretch. Because it might. I mean, it well, doesn't we- say that uh the, it's an old time baseball player right so it could be more yeah, modern like a Pete Rose. Say that. yeah but i just don't remember if that's where he played yeah and khrushchev or nikita i don't know okay nikita and what about a glenn um i feel like there might be one but I'm yeah. okay, what about the Congo? Yes, yes. That's, that's the weirdest one. Yeah. Oh, this is silly. <sighs> a game show. I think we go with Jeopardy just because that was the first one we came up with. And I'm pretty sure that started in, it might have been in the 60s. Okay. But... And the rock and roll, we're going to go with. I, I want to hold your hand. hand. All right, Rob, you could, I, if everybody's done, you might as well call us back too. Because Well, we... nobody's done, but we can't make this going forever. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. One team is done, but. Most most teams are in the same situation as you are. I have a guess. It is not the team you think it is. Let me look at this. Let's see who would be the ringer for this. Oh, I forgot. Is it team four? I don't remember the number. It's the one with uh, uh, a mocker. Mm. Oh, he figured it out. Yep. He's one. Cindy, Faith, Romero, Gail, and Kevin figured this out. (laughs) Yep. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. I mean, uh, no, I mean, of course they're smart enough to figure it out, but what is it they got? <laughs> what is it they got that we can't, we didn't get? You're gonna kick yourself. That's all I'm saying. So is it got song is the song related, you guys? We didn't even we didn't even yeah. explore songs. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm gonna have to give a notice because this is yeah, uh, I gotta go f- get my dinner. <laughs> give me something too while you're at it. Yeah. So yeah, because um, yeah, the song. Yeah, who knows? Are we? Yeah, I want to go. Yeah, the song. Does the song fit? Not really. Okay. Yeah. 57, 50, 55, 54. Okay. Oh well. Uh, good luck, team. <laughs> it was hard. Yeah. That was a good effort. Um, we did. Yeah. Thanks, Troy, for trying to help. Yeah. yeah. Troy, thanks, Troy. Yeah, thank you. Didn't help us. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he helped us figure out it might not be Marvel yeah. or it might be. <laughs> so, so, so uh, Troy, did he, did he, uh, has he ever had a girlfriend named Helen? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you should look for one. No, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's never heard that before. Actually, have you ever heard that before? I think so. Yeah, that's a new one. Oh, <laughs> <ooh>, damn. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? It would be. Helen and Troy. Aww. <laughs> Kissing in a tree. K I S S I N B. So mature. <laughs> no, not me. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I hate you. Is Thank Karen you, back yet? Thank you, Rob. Is Karen. Thank you, Rob. Back no wonder back. Kevin got it. We should have just gone with really freaking Joel. Maybe it was proof. We were trying to figure out why your team 
team one got it we're like okay well, who is it on the team <laughs> and we should have said oh okay it's so is, wait a minute is karen, is karen how, kicking herself how did you know team one had it because because rob know. came in and he said one team oh could god it damn it and i said which no, one he says team one okay so here's the story behind this the song was oh, brother Spawned out of a conversation that Joel had uh, with a despairing 21 year old friend who Kevin actually knew who it was, who told Joel that it was a terrible time to be a young person. And Joel was on the eve of his 40th birthday. And he told a friend that things weren't much better when he was that age. And he decided to make a song to capture the 40 years of history from when he was born to that point. First, Can we already do this? Harry no. Truman, Doris Day, Red China, Johnny Ray, South Pacific, oh. Walter Mitchell, Joe DiMaggio. Walter oh. Mitchell. Yes. All right. We're skipping ahead to <laughs> Joseph Stalin, Malenkov. Oh, okay. Nasser <laughs> and Progeviv. Rockefeller, Campanella, Communist, Black. Roy Cohen, Juan Perón, Tuscanini, Dacron. Dampune Falls. Rock around the clock. Blue Falls, rock around the clock. Thank you. Nothing from the next one. Now we go to six. Little Rock, Pasternak, Mickle Man, Mickey Mantle, Kerouac. Pasternak. Had you not know that, Susan? Oh, well, that didn't sound Russian at all. She's Russian. That's her. her well, Wikipedia I had to article. sing the song, and Gail got that one because I didn't that know. That doesn't who the sound Russian. Was. Her Wikipedia article, because she's from South America, had the the uh, little mark on the top of the A in Natalia, and that's wrong because they thought she was from a Spanish-speaking country. Her family is Russian. That's why it's Pasternak. So, um, Spus, Sputnik, show and lie, bridge on the River Kwai. Oh, we got one. Hey, skipping ahead uh, to the last part of this. Uh, chubby Checker, Psycho, Belgians in the Congo. Skipping ahead, Hemingway, Eichmann, Stranger in a Strange, in a strange Land. land. Dylan, Berlin, Bay of Pigs Invasion, Lawrence of Arabia, British Beatlemania, Old Miss, John Glenn, Liston Beats, Patterson. Skipping ahead. Wheel of Fortune, Sally Ride, Heavy Metal Suicide. And that's all 11. Wheel of Fortune. If you had fed me the, the theme before answering these questions, I wouldn't have done any better. Really? Yeah, it, it, each, each I don't know the lyrics category. to that song. Yeah, it's my next I'll, song. I'll, okay, so I did get the yeah. right, uh, right one of the Mercury Seven in there. <laughs> each, each line in that song is in chronological order, 1949. That is and correct. Then it, also, when it hits 1963, it's just the rest. So 63 to 89 is just he calls the rest. All right. So there, there's the answers for Susan to copy over. Akron. <laughs> and it was, it was uh, Julian Lennon and his friend were talking with Billy Joel in the studio about. Julian songs Lennon, and Julian stuff Lennon. like that oh, okay. and he it was sean lennon and julian lennon was one of them with their friends talking to billy joel and he said nothing ever happens in your time and he says oh yeah so, so by the way you didn't get it immediately right because when i was no i did not because so I, I, I was thinking what, what gave it away was, what, what, Franklin how'd you finally how'd you finally get it i i got um wheel of fortune i know and um uh bridge on the river Kwai i know and it was oh, one other one. They had Stranger in the Strange Land by then. Yeah, and so they, the other people were answering the questions, and I said, "Wait a minute, that fits with the you know when I heard the answers." And then I said, "Oh, Belgians in the Congo," and so we got to fill oh, it in. Yeah. And I had to sing it because I didn't know who the um, the Russian person was or whatever it was when I said Pasternak. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, I'm surprised you got that. I didn't know Melikov. Dacron. What's Dacron? It's Dacron. Dacron. It's a fabric. Dacron. 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 Cron. It's a fabric. I, see, I thought it was polyester. And then we said, no, it's Dacron because that's in the song. We yeah. thought it was plastic or <laughs> oh, PET. Okay, yeah. sorry, oh, people. It's PET. Oh, Mark got rock, rock Around the Clock. That was, yeah, we got or, that was that what he said? Yeah. We thought it was great, Rob. <laughs> well, there's one. <laughs> okay. Rob didn't even wait for me to be on his team, so that was nice of him. Yeah, yeah, I was fair. We were trying to guess Aretha Franklin at first to the first one, but th then it was 2020 and Donald Trump was the president. Then there's uh, no way wait, he would give somebody the was talking about Michelle Nichols. Woman. Who was talking about Michelle Nichols for the first answer? What was <laughs> oh, we were we were thinking well, the first time we went through, we thought the theme was land Stop mouse it. because stranger in a strange land, John Glenn, a Glenn, and Congo. And the bridge of a river Kwai. Okay, those are all landy 
thing. Geographic. Bridges, land, you know, stuff like that. So we thought, okay, that's it. And then we got stuck. Then we decided it was a uh, Star <laughs> Trek references. And then we got into Marvel was the last thing we said. <laughs> we were trying to make it dogs because Doris Day was really oh into dogs. God. <laughs> and um, and we, Will we of Fortune got is Peggy Wolf. Lee for the first one. <laughs> you know, I never, I never even thought of it, we, by the way. We, and we, guess, we were convinced for the it was random. Random associations. The Wikipedia page is wonderful because it breaks down in the decades and the years and every one of the references that explains it. You know, if it, Kevin had done the round, I might have tried to fit a song in, but I just never even considered it a song. Because <laughs> it was Rob. <laughs> it doesn't do well, we went to music. Marvel and Star Trek because it was Rob. Yeah, Michelle Nichols. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> as as the American actor to die <laughs> began their careers of the great singer. Oh, well, if you watch uh, the official video, the Billy Joel video, no. he doesn't show any of the things that he mentions in the songs. He shows everything else that happened that he couldn't fit in the song. Yeah, oh my so, God. And he, oh, he shows the things. kitchen. It's a scene in the kitchen. So it's a kitchen of the 40s and the 50s, rather, and the 40s and 50s and the 60s. And the kitchen keeps getting modernized. Oh, that's cool. I, I don't think I've ever seen the video. I have to look Yeah, and up. then there's a fan done video that he actually plays in concert that has all the people that are in the video that he mentioned. And it flashes all the names in the places. Right. I want somebody so, to uh, update this song with all of the things. Yeah, from that they've been day. talking about that. A lot of fans rewrite it. There's a lot of fan versions of. A lot of high I'm school not sure social studies teachers will with, assign that. I'm not sure who you're making fun of with Nichelle Nichols, but I actually wrote that. I, wrote, <laughs> I wrote Nichelle Nichols, and then we did too. We did as too, you Karen. were saying we're it, the and then path. I said, "Oh no, the metal," and I crossed it out. <laughs> and the, the the next big event that happened at the after this song that was if he would have waited a little bit, right, hold on. the Berlin Wall came down. Yeah, that, yeah. that would have been in the song for sure had he waited a little bit, but it didn't get in the song. I actually learned quite a bit of history by looking this up and going through the, the all yeah. every single one of those things that I didn't know what the reference was. So it's kind it of it became off. a history lesson for kids in school. The teachers yeah. would assign one kid to each thing, and then they have to write a report. <sighs> and then the kids loved the song and it. It shot to number one. Scores, number scores, one scores. Weeks. We're we're now on pace to finish this game at five hours. So oh, now we're gonna that was quite now we're gonna do now we're gonna do uh, scenes from Italian restaurant. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Scores. And Captain Jack, the longest song by Billy Joel. Okay, so let's go with the let's go with um, number one here. We don't have to win at trivia. We just think we win. We got one. Oh. We got 10, we got 10. 11, we got 11, 11. actually. <laughs> okay. No, US presidents do not have Jedi powers. Um, no, which ones? Okay. Do we have that? No, US um, presidents do not have Jedi powers. What's the score? Okay, who was it? Uh, uh, Adrian, were you, actually record, were, were, you, were you actually trying to figure out uh, what we... I was on yeah. that team. I wasn't paying any attention to score. Yeah, just give me a second. I just got back with my dinner. Oh. oh. Okay, so Trump can Next. declassify in his pants just by thinking about it. I... <laughs> okay, Walt, Walt, water muddlers. I think we got nine. Nine. Yep. We, we finally came up with a theme. Ooh. Thanks for yeah, the telepathy. Theme. Declassification by telepathy? Seven. Okay, so no, U.S. presidents do not have Jedi powers. Um, ten. Ten. Oh, we got, no, I wish we did. Forfeit. Four. Four. Four fit. No, four. four? <laughs> Did we really only get four? Mm-hmm. Oh, like, oh. We're gonna be in last place. We're not in last One. place. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, four. We got John Glenn, Stranger in a Strange Land, mm -hmm. the Congo, River mm -hmm. Kwai. Mm -hmm. Did we get okay. rock around the clock? Nope. We got four. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's sad. Damn, that was right. When, when I did the very first Billy Joel uh, category, one of the questions was there was five U.S. presidents mentioned in the song. Name yeah, I, I, rem I remember that. 
So it was this one. Yeah, I knew we'd use this song before. Well, just, just, just the one question. It was all right. So let's go on our five minute break. Okay. Okay. So well, um, are you taking a picture first? Oh yeah, I got to take a picture. Everybody, be ready, 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 ready. Ah, oh, thank you, Karen, for keeping me on the oh, ball. I should here. change my background for us, though. I guess yeah, there's I'll. Nothing wrong with that background. Yeah, I got a better one. Well, hurry up. I will. I will. I got up. chickens that need to get put in. Uh, Devin, everybody. everybody. Okay, okay everybody ahead. ready? Oh, it's <laughs> bully bowl related. Okay, ready? Everybody look at the camera and everybody smile. Everybody say chicken. One, two, Chickens. three. Chickens. I think I got it. Let me make sure I have it before you guys disappear. Okay. That's Billy Joel in 1987 wearing okay, my got sunglasses. It. That's nice, Kevin. <laughs> 1987 wearing my sunglasses in 19, 2014 front row seat. Okay. Well, anyway, I guess I'll do my usual early. Uh, uh, okay, bye, Jim. Leave. Thanks for coming bye. by, Jim. Take care, Jim. Bye, Jim. Bye, Jim. Yep. Bye, Vincent. I'm bye. splitting two. Bye. Bye. Goodness I gracious. Who is that? Who is that? I'm going to go on. So Susie. I don't declassify my pants. I'll be, I'll be <laughs> I'm still staying on. Yeah, he's going to be uh you know like you know what the, the phrase earworm so this song has been an earworm ever since i started doing this three days oh ago. yeah I, just, I bet i cannot get it out of my head i may have mentioned this before but i saw billy joel in concert <sighs> and he played this song and he laid out all the words to the song and individual pieces of paper on the floor in front of him and he told the people in the front row, don't touch these because I don't know the words to this song. And if these get mixed up, it's going to be a train. Oh, no, no. And as he finished each page, he kicked the page to someone in the crowd. <clears throat> no. Ah. That must have been early on. Because oh, you don't he think he really has usually messes memorized. it up and says authentic rock and roll fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so I have something I'm going to show you guys, even because we're on a little break. It's just the really quick, uh, the 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 Trump guy at uh, Cyclone. It's just really quick. So hold on. What? I've got a ton of videos and pictures from Cyclone. So did I wait? I forgot. Did I hit share with audio? Let me see. Share sound. Okay. So he's just talking. It's just remember. This was a time we thought there was no way. You're sharing your desktop. Am I? Yeah. yeah. Flowers. Oh. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. Now you can see them? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at America. It's me, Zombie Trail. I was hoping I could count on your vote in November. We're going to defeat Vampire Hillary. We're going to deport her back to Transylvania. We're going to build a wall, and we're going to make Transylvania pay for it. Make America undead again. Vote Zombie Trump 2016. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, this is so funny. We'll never hear of Trump again. That's what we said. We said there will be no way he'll ever come. And that's what I was saying. I was going to write a Wikipedia page just about his hair. You know, because there were so many memes about his hair. And there was so much. I said, that'll be fun. I'll write a Wikipedia page about his hair. Because nobody will ever talk about Trump after 2016. So won't that be funny? And then I said, oh, I'll, I'll wait until after the election. Then I'll write the Wikipedia page about his hair. Oh. There, there's me and Crystal Taliaferro. Who's that? Who's that? Billy Joel's percussionist. Oh. And then my wife, and then her on stage with Billy. Your wife's on stage with Billy? No, Crystal Taliaferro. <laughs> and then my wife's in the middle. Awesome. We oh. gave Crystal a shirt. The back of it said Crystal. When she came to Fenway, and she wore it on uh, in on stage. So, in, in case you thought I, on the previous theme, in case you thought I was joking, this is on Amazon. Oh, yeah. Hey, there's Jesus a new book Christ. out by uh, Susan. Ah, <laughs> yes, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Yep. Oh, what was it that? Uh, um, yeah, yeah. So the, the Son of Man Jesus. is predicted by Jesus in the Bible were so significant, fulfilled at the hands of Donald. But you Trump. know what, Rob? There is that stuff is everywhere. 
I mean, seriously, you could you could find something like that that says I'm Jesus Christ somewhere, probably. They're just really. Mm. I'll vote for you. <laughs> Gotta vote. <laughs> well, Susan runs a different cult. I'm eligible to be president next election. Ooh. Oh, really? And this is because you've been taking training. So now you have Jedi mind powers that you can declassify now. documents by just thinking about it. Well, of course. I mean, who doesn't have that power? Uh. Okay, hold on. I can confirm, however, that I am not running for president in 2024. Oh, well, you just made my selection of voting easier. Oh. You know, I think Donald Trump originally came down that escalator in 2014 or whenever it was to say he was going to run for president. I think he did it as a publicity stunt. Of course. And I think he never expected to be the president ever, never yeah. wanted to, didn't, but realized it was, it was a fundraiser. It was a way to get free money from suckers. Yes, absolutely. And he, <laughs> he had it no in idea. any way he saw fit. And he's still doing well, that. He's still, yeah, he's still getting free money from suckers. Yeah. There is a YouTube video that's, in a, it's the title is something like, What's the difference between a psychopath and a psychopath? and a sociopath, mm -hmm. and as you're watching it, and they're describing the psychopath, although it's long before Trump, it was made long before Trump was any kind of a politician, and he has never mentioned, it could be his biography. Mm. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. he has not only all the characteristics of a psychopath, but he did all the things psychopaths do, and behaves the way psychopaths behave even to what you just now said. Psychopaths have no real feeling. They just pretend because they don't understand that people do can things like empathy. Yeah. So they learn the social cues and they tend to be very friendly, very personable because they learn how to do that and they don't care who they hurt because uh, they only work for themselves and they have no feelings of guilt or empathy at all. And that's him. Yeah. Um, there is a wonderful t-shirt that I, I should wear one time for this because I just bought it. It says, um, when you, you must vote. We are ruthless. ruthless. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes, I okay. like it. Uh... This goes in line with the uh, Rovember t-shirts? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things that happened to me in the last 48 hours was I'm preparing a class, I'm teaching a class in skepticism, and mm. I'm doing what things people believe to the class that I just did. People believe that aren't true, and I was using Snopes to identify some things. And one that I expected to not be true turned out to be true and that's always fun because usually it's the other way around right mm -hmm. and it was there was a story making its way all over facebook and i guess all the other social media i don't see them that was told by one of queen elizabeth's aides guardians whatever he's a protector he always went with her and when they, when she was in scotland she liked to go for walks and she'd just go for a walk and he'd be there to protect her and take care of her. And she'd just go for a walk and she'd meet people and she'd say hello and she'd talk to people. It's just what she did. And she was apparently very well known in Scotland for doing that. Well, they were doing that one day and the story he tells is they came upon some people and she said hello and they were Americans, American tourists. And they didn't recognize her. She just wore a scarf and a... And a Oh, you're talking about Queen Elizabeth? Yes. I remember reading this. Yeah, it's really interesting. And it's true. It's the point. It, the, the, uh, the attribution is true. And he told the story at her jubilee, and she didn't contradict it. So I guess she's accepting it. So she, they didn't recognize her. And apparently she had a great sense of humor. So she kind of played along with the whole thing. And they said, um, gee, do you come here often? And she said, oh, I've been coming here for, for 80 years. I have a house up here. And he said, oh, really? Well, if you've been coming 
for such a long time. Um, have you ever met the queen? And she said, well, no, but he has, talking to her about her aid. He said, he said, the tour says, really? Oh, yes, he says, I meet her all the time. She's rather cantankerous, but has a great sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and the tour said, could you take a picture? And ask the queen to take a picture of her, of him, the, the person <laughs> with, the, with the aid. And they took the picture. And then he realized what was happening. So he said, why don't I take a picture of the two of you too? So they took another picture and they went off. And he said, after she left, the queen, after the tourist left, uh, the queen said, well, I wonder if when he shows them the picture, they'll know, find out who I am. <laughs> Maybe when they get back to the States. Oh, that's my, uh, the story, the story I heard was she went, in, it was, it, she went into a bakery to get, to buy some rolls or something like that. And she it was raining. She had her, her rubber wellies on and a little, little rain scarf thing, you know, a little rain bonnet thing. And so she's in there getting her stuff and somebody in the bakery shop says, you know, love, you, you look a lot like the queen. And, and Elizabeth says, how very reassuring. How <laughs> very what? Re reassuring. Reassuring. I didn't hear what you said. The real what? How very reassuring. reassuring. Oh, oh. That might be the funniest the possible answer. UK accent, and I didn't quite catch it. It's, it's yeah. Bob's accent. So we're yeah. back, right? In <clears throat> we may be. So Kyle, why don't you go first? I I I really enjoyed this well, episode. Dude. Thank you. Yeah, it was a cool one. This week on Data Skeptic, I talked to a researcher who's looking into the impact of weight loss ads, kind of studying response to this and not just the ones you see in a newspaper, but the online ones, which could be hyper targeted to you and personalized to you and how that impacts people. So talking to someone who studied that this week on Data Skeptic. It was more than just weight loss. It was just the idea of how people mm -hmm. self harm, like they, like these are these ads are targeted to people who are in vulnerable places. So the the researcher looked at weight loss ads, but it could have applied to other things as well. For sure, it's it really interesting. Um, what was the phrase that she used? It wasn't called self harm. It was called. Um, there was a phrase for this kind of targeted stuff where people, somebody else said it. They said, oh, we're referring to so-and-so who's used this phrase, which means self, no, right at the beginning. I, I can't remember. I got to get back to you on that one. I can't That's think of it right now, but it was some term <laughs> that they used for this phenomena of where people are, um, uh, it, it, they're selecting something that is harming them necessarily not they know that it's harming them but they're oh yeah well one of the examples in her paper i don't know if we discussed it but someone was searching for yoga stuff and she's like getting weight loss health advertisements and she's like i don't want to lose weight i just want to stretch why am i seeing these ads constantly mm. Yeah, it was a very, it's a really interesting episode, you guys. You should give it a listen to if you get a chance or if you haven't already. Um, Does anybody know where Leonard's been these days? I haven't seen him in ages. I've seen him for a while. I think he's home. Previous birthday today. He said he was going, a couple of weeks ago, he said he was going to go to Ben to see his um, That's right. grandkids and children. Grandkids. And I don't know when, he was also going to go on that Disney cruise, but I don't know when he was going to oh, do. Oh, that's true. That might be. Yeah, you probably have a good memory about that. I know Priva has been posting, so I just for some reason think she. You know what? Now they think about it, they're in Ben because I remember Priva posting a picture a day or so ago, saying and showing all the toys scattered all over the floor, and she said something about it was just super clear. Okay, yes, today's Priva's birthday. Yeah, today's Priva's birthday. That's oh, literally <laughs> why. So let's see, what else do we have today that we need to get out of the way? I have um, just a reminder that Free Thought Day in Sacramento is coming up in October. I'm going to be giving a talk to the Sacramento area skeptics. Anybody who's near Sacramento, I sure as hell hope they're going to come up mm. there. Deborah has agreed to come up there with me. So we're going to drive together and hang out and have a blast. Um, that's going to be October 7th, 8th, 9th, right around there. Um, uh, 
anybody who's still on the fence, talk to me. <laughs> you're still not going to hop right over that sucker. I'm telling you, if you're home and you're watching everybody else post these amazing pictures of everybody hanging out, you're going to be like, God, I wish I'd gone. What's the, push, what are the dates? Just to push you a little, a little further here. So my Psycon pre Oh, Timothy Caulfield. That's done. the one I just listened to. It's so just, good. Just published that one. And all 12 are Another in Albertan. There. Canadian. Yeah, he is. So I get to get a selfie with Bill October Nye. October 20th. See, that's why there should be no trivia that week, Susan. So people don't say, uh, have anything else to do. Mm -hmm. I have to go to Psycon because there won't be trivia. October 20th, 21st. We should set up a table at SciCon and do trivia. With do trivia I have a table team. at SciCon. I am the only table at SciCon. Thank you very much. So let's I'll do trivia from that table and ask no. people as they walk by. No, because all the speakers are going to be there. Oh, so Kevin's changing his tune now, huh? Well, I want to go, but am I going to be able to meet, um, you know, no, Bill Nye Bill will Nye. probably be there. Bill Tyson. Nye and, and Tyson. I will be there, Kevin. Come on now. I all these other that, people but... are going to be there. You didn't... get to meet everybody. It's may I, may I do a commercial? Yes, mm -hmm. Gail's giving a commercial. I'm doing the commercial. I, I want to tell anyone who has never been to these that I moved to Las Vegas because I came to TAM every year. <laughs> and that's why I moved. And of course, the minute I got here, TAM ended. <laughs> but fault. then they brought PsyCon, which is even better. So, <laughs> and we haven't had PsyCon two years, and I have been in pain. Yeah, I know. So, I am definitely looking. Man, this would be big. It's, it's so wonderful. It's, big. it's a big deal. It's not so much the speakers. It's well, the speakers are great. The speakers are well, really yeah, good. But the but it's just the the feeling of being like this right now, but twenty four seven practically, and you're just yeah. hanging out with people and. I just had a new person who's just, he hasn't been to any of these things. He just was writing to me a, a little bit ago about what to wear. He says, suit and tie, right? And I'm like, no, what? so I'm speaking in pictures of stuff. What? He's like, oh, he bought, it. he bought the VIP luncheon ticket. I'm like, Whoa. that's really expensive. The VIP, ticket. the VIP ticket was $500. It was sold out too. Sold I said, out. well, that's nice, but everybody's going to be in the freaking food court. Because that's where everybody goes. We stay. And I know exactly where we're going to be hanging out because we've already done the flamingo. You go yeah. to the food court, there's like five different places. We take over all the tables and people and are just hanging out. Pizza. And then we go to prison. Are we going to arrange a time when we can all get together from this group? All the time. No, so, all the time <laughs> is when we're getting together. So if you're near my voice, and you see me in mass going with lots of people towards the location. Get in there as quickly and, as you can. Or text don't fly me. home until Monday. Yeah, don't. Fly, well, she lives in town. And text if you can't see me. I will have a table in the in the CFI room where the books are. Are you flying, uh, Susan? Yeah, I'm going to go out of Monterey. I haven't booked my flight yet. Well. Maybe I'll go. Oh, oh yeah, okay. go. Robin, I'm going. Go. Yeah, Robin. Come on, Robin. Here, comes, here comes another part of my commercial. It, it would be I'm like the to... very first ever skeptic thing that I ever went to. Wait, wait, wait. You've been doing Monterey Skeptic Camp for years. I know, but I mean, this big is a one. big one. Okay, all right. Everybody, we one, are, what, we're one recording. Of the that I, I checked with, one of the I checked with George Rabb. There's probably going to be a Sunday night thing along. Else. Oh, if nice. All significant people are just around. When I was at one at I was to the TAM, I was I had to use the bathroom, so I left the hall where they were listening to a speaker. And on my way back, sitting on a on a bench was Teller. So mm -hmm. I went over and said hello, and I told him I just read his book, and he asked me some questions, and I ended up having a ten minute conversation with Teller just to buy ourselves. And that happens there because yeah, it absolutely there. does. A lot of it happens in the area where I'm at too, because the table I have. I get whatever tables and whatever chairs, and the speakers don't necessarily always go to the talks, so they want to hang out somewhere. So they come and hang out at my table or around it, the table. That, that's how Bill and I just sat down and literally had lunch at, at your table. Yeah, I told him. I said, "Hey, you, you know, you need." He was getting a sandwich. I said, "Well, if you need a place to sit, just go over there." And I grabbed a random person who was near me. I said, "Can you make sure Bill has a?" Uh, you know there's a clean area on our table to sit down and he just went and sat down and people were like oh god should i go up and talk to him i'm like leave him alone he's eating a sandwich <laughs> he was there for like 30 minutes or more and, and per, per gail's comment the reason i'm writing for skeptical inquire indirectly 
is because I did what she did with Teller. I did with Richard Dawkins. Uh, he was sitting alone in a corner, like it was early, and I just introduced myself. We sat down and we started talking. He said, oh, you really, really should write an article for me. And it's like, oh, that put the idea in my head. Okay, we're getting back now. But the thing I want to do is I want to say is that it is... People are telling me these things all the time. Oh, I didn't get to meet Randy or I didn't, you know, or, oh, I hope to meet this very mm -hmm. famous celebrity. I'm telling you, you guys, we are the famous celebrities of the future. We, we, and you will meet people of the, that are there. You will go, oh my gosh, I had no idea that Timothy Caulfield was so freaking amazing. Will what? I get to meet That's Carrot Top? No, not those people. <laughs> George Rob. Uh, there's just so much that are, it's just like 20 years from now, people will go, really? You were there when George Rob was doing sing-alongs? I wish I could have gone to one of his sing-alongs. And it's like, anyway, so I think the last thing we have is Adrian has something really quick. Yeah. Well, two things, because I'll, I'll start off with um, the Skeptic Zone stuff. So of course there's going to be trove as usual, and I uh, I think that Richard is <laughs> going to be posting an interview with that I had with Kelly Burke, mm -hmm. and he announced it this time. Yeah, Michelle, I don't know what it is about pseudoscience in education, mm -hmm. and if you go on to YouTube, there's a 40 minute version because you know I talk and Kelly and Michelle we all talk too much, and so if you want a little more information, <laughs> you can go to the YouTube. But there will be a 15 minute, 10 or 15 minute uh, version of it on the Skeptic Zone this weekend, as well as me reading the newsletter. And uh, but be and the the more important thing. I wanted to save the best to last is uh, uh, talking about Larry Williams, my, I'm going to start crying, friend from uh, Calgary, <laughs> who I've actually never met. Isn't that weird? It's yeah, because, we all feel that way too. Yeah. Not weird at all. Yeah. It's um, since the pandemic, he started coming. I started the We Can Reason webinars up here in Calgary when the pandemic hit and he came to every single one and that's how I got to know him. And then he would come to the ASC, the Atheist Society of Calgary board meetings when I was on the board for a short time. And he would always come to the meetings and he, he's a smart guy. He, I mean, he, yeah, he was smart. I, <laughs> he would, uh, he did a couple of reports for us that were very in-depth and pretty amazing. So he, he was a very interesting fellow. So this is a big loss. And I just wanted to share with you that, and I'm going to post it into the, there, into the chat. If you want to go and post on the McInnes and Holloway obituary, uh, uh, they, there's a place you can leave some comments or pictures or whatever you want to do. I think it would be really nice. I think the family would really love that. It, it, and in the obituary, trivia is mentioned. He said that he was a proud member of trivia. I thought that was really sweet. <laughs> so it was obviously very important. And so uh, it would be great, I think, if we, as many of us as possible, could go over and just put a few words in. I think I left something in there, but I don't see it. Oh, really? It's there. I did see it. Oh, yeah. It's a long one. It's two oh, paragraphs yeah. long. It's, it's there. And I put the playlist in there for so that the family would... That's awesome. Could look at it later when they feel up to it. But yeah, that's right. Okay, so. Yeah, it was yeah. great being on his team because he always knew some interesting things. So Yeah, his family might be interested in watching some of these videos. Yeah, eventually, yeah. yeah. Not not today, but eventually. Yeah. So I put that in the, com in the comments so they'd have it. So um, yeah, so anyway, that was very sad. And, so, yeah, uh, no, I've known him for, I guess, two and a half years, but never met him. And uh, even though we live in the same city, all because of the pandemic, basically. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very sad. Very, very sad. But he did really enjoy trivia. So I feel I feel good about that. So um, okay. So I think we're ready to go back unless there's something else I need to know. Okay. Rob's always got something coming out with um uh the skeptical inquire he's he just posted something i think i put something up from the skeptic zone podcast i don't think it's the it's the last video that was uploaded i don't think it's exactly the one but you guys can get just it gives you the um the channel name and everything so you can 
you can look at that if you want. Yeah, so I I, I posted just a little bit ago because uh, I'm done with the pre-conference interviews. We're too close now. Uh, and so no. all 12, 12, 12 are up, all 12 are up. And I wanted to mention to Gail, by the way, I, I just listened to a Skeptoid. I don't remember who was the last one or it was one recently because I was catching up. But uh, Dunning did things he went in thinking were going to result in a different answer than he came out with. And you might want to That's a two-part. That yeah. Hmm. That was very interesting. Okay, so we're ready to get back. Uh, Peggy's going to be taking over round three. So Peggy, um, who was it? Was excuse me, I got hiccups. Was it Gail that said I need to put her in her room? No, I'm, I that was the last time I okay. was in it. All taken care of. All right, so Peggy, you're up, and then Caspian, unless it's a mystery theme. Good evening, <laughs> and it is a mystery theme. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh. It, it's not nightmare. going to be mysterious for long. It will be pretty easy mystery to figure out. And it has nothing to do with you know who. Oh. Well, you Meeting know. everybody. Voldemort. He who shall not be named. Here we go. Okay. Um, number one. This Christian cult figure was fabled to have slain a dragon and saved a princess. Number two. Mario or Luigi? <laughs> I think I figured out the theme already. I told you it was easy. Number two, Marianne Evans from 1816 to 1880. Lifespan is better known as blank, blank. All righty then. Number three is... Amandine, Lucille, Aurora, Dupont, and that should be 1894, I'm sorry, 1809 to 1876, sorry about the typo, is better known as blank, blank. Next category, I'm going to put two in at once because they're related. Also, because it's easier since I'm so slow at this copy pasting thing. Number four, this guy got an Oscar for portraying the guy in number five. Number five is this World War II general was disciplined for slapping two soldiers who had shell shock. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Number six is short and sweet. Norm. Copy number seven. Called the father of American ballet. This choreographer co-founded the New York City Ballet and was its artistic director for more than 35 years. Oh, up there. Number eight is this comedian who was court-martialed three times while in the Air Force and later described by Rolling Stone magazine as the second best American comedian of all time behind Richard Pryor. There's a word in there that doesn't belong, but you guys will figure it out. Number nine is the music producer who Paul McCartney has called the fifth Beatle, although John Lennon disputed his importance to the group's success. And 
And finally, we have this country music star referred to as the king of country has been nominated for and won more CMA and AMC awards than any other artist. His most commercially successful album is called Pure Country. So you, the theme, you don't get points for the theme because it just will make everything too easy. Questions? Pretty uncomplicated. <laughs> you ready? I'm sending you to your rooms if I have powers. And I do. I'm powerful. Hey, I tell you, I figure this out once in a while. You do. I'm on the ball sometimes. Hey, Susan. Hey. Apparently recording is in progress. Really? Yes. Thank you for letting me know. I <laughs> 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 just that. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and when Adrian was making her uh, speech, that would be the same for me. I did not know Larry. I only knew him from online. Same as all of us. Yeah. I'm going to share the screen. Cool. I don't think I know any of these. Sure. Everybody can see that. Yeah, I think the theme is people named George. Well, the first one's George. Yeah. Oh well, that would make sense. Her cat, her dog's name is George. G. <laughs> Saint George. But yeah. George. George Sands. No wait, King George. Marianne Evans. Uh, this one. Uh, Marianne Evans. Something. Tall. George Sands. This is not working. You got to hit the word, hit the button insert on your Inserts. keypad. Okay, that's probably. If, it, if it's been unhit, it'll, it's annoying. Yeah. George, Saved a Princess? I don't know that story. Say George. Oh, say George, George and the Dragon. Yeah. Oh, no, I do have, I Saint think George. I have heard that. Yeah. Okay, so Mary Ann Evans. Saint George? Saint St. is no, yeah. no, number one, number one. Number one. Oh. Mary Ann Evans. Georgia O'Keefe? No. That could be. That could be, yeah. That well, like seems a little that. old, no. though, right? Those folks. Oh, no, 1860, yeah, she, though. Yeah, she, she didn't die that long, though. She's, yeah. She's much, much more, more contemporary. contemporary. Oh, I thought she was old. Georgia no. O'Keefe. No, 1880. We got our theme now. That's, yeah. Okay. So what's the, the answer to two? We don't know yet. We don't know. Three, Leroy, three would, would be George Sands. I don't know who that is. Or She's number a three. She wrote a, it's a pseudonym. She wrote under a pseudonym, George Sands. Oh, I don't oh. know that. Yeah. I don't think right? I have anything of hers. Or... Is George C. Scott? Oh, yeah. Five is George Patton. General Patton, George Patton. Yeah, if we put St. George, we need to put General Patton. So, why did he, the people, they were shell shocked and he was trying to shake him out of it or what? I don't know. Did remember. you see the movie Patton? It was, it was in the movie. So, Couldn't we don't know it. it's true. Is that right, George Patton? Yeah. General Patton, yeah. General Norm Patton. is who? George Went. George Went. George Went, yeah. George who? Went? Went. W E N D T. Is that from Cheers? Cheers. Cheers? Okay. Call the Father of American Ballet. Valentine. George Valentine? George Valentine. Never heard of him. Well, I'm glad you guys are on this team because I don't know any of these. Let's see, George Valentine. 
Yeah, I could have got something where George Burns was the answer, but none of these. Yeah, well, maybe. No. Is eight? No, eight is not George Burns. Carlin. George, George Carlin. Carlin. Yeah. Yeah. I think George Burns was quite funny, though. <laughs> For the 50s. George, yeah. the Beatle was. Martin. George Martin. George Martin. George R. Martin or something like that. George Martin. You know, I wish he would stop producing that Beatles movie and finally finish those dumb dragon books. <laughs> oh, that guy is George R. Martin. Oh, okay. Oh, am I spelling okay. George Ryan? Wrong? Yes. George right. Uh huh. Holy shit, I am. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. Why are you surprised? Well, yeah. Is there a Canadian spelling we don't know about? Oh, I am so bad at spelling. You in it. <laughs> G E U R G E G E. Okay, so how do you spell George? You've got it right. G E O R G E O G E O. You had it right. Okay, country music star. George Jones. Who's that? I've never heard of him. Me either. Not George uh, Strait. That name. Hmm. Huh? Um, I mean, yeah, look. George Jones sounds better. I know well, which one is, which one is I've heard of George Strait. Which one is number nine? George Martin. George, George Martin. I don't know two. Two is Mary Ann Evans is better known as George of the Jungle. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a good one. How many points can... did we get the last in the last in the second round? Five, I think. Five. Five. Well, my team I was on, which was Rob's team, only got four. <laughs> we did not. We were all over the place. Did you guys, you didn't get the theme? We had the theme and we only got five. Oh, that's yeah. awful. We had the theme, but we couldn't come up with the missing stuff. I think it would have been okay if I'd had the theme. Not that I know the song really well, but, you know, I kind of remember. We were on like Peggy Lee. We, we, we went from Aretha Franklin to Peggy Lee for the first one and then we said oh Peggy Lee Stan Lee that's it it's all Marvel <laughs> comics related <laughs> so then we were just the, like um, lost two and three which which one is I think three is George Sand but now I'm uh, I don't know because they're contemporaries I vote for putting George Sands for two and three you don't think that it's would, George O'Keefe I think George O'Keefe one. is old mm -hmm. That would get us one. But yeah, at least one. But I'm well, trying to exactly think. one. But I'm yeah, trying to Georgia O'Keefe was this century. Yeah, yeah I was, think so. She was painting in the 60s. Right? Or not this Wait, century, but painter? in the I thought, 1900s. She was a, I thought she was an author. No, definitely. No. She painted orchids that looked like women's anatomy. Yep, oh. this is true. Wow, we're coming back already? I guess Do you want to put George exactly. Sand for two and three? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. George O'Keefe, yeah, maybe you're right. I guess so you're right. Which, which, so we're going right. to say St. George, George Sam, George Sam, George C. Scott, George Patton. George Went doesn't have an E at the end. Oh, sorry. And George Ballantyne is with a B it's, as in bacon. But it's, it's Balanchine. B-A-L-L-A-N-Tine. Balanchine. It's Balanchine. I'm pretty sure. C H I N E. C Valentine. Cheen. Hello? C H. I, I'm pretty C -H. sure. Valentine, yeah. Yeah. Valentine. Yeah, not Tyne. I mean, I think that's close enough where we can go under spelling doesn't count. Okay. Well, he's going to put a U in the word George, so I don't. But when everybody gets back, I'll see if anybody needs more, more time. Does, it, does everybody, everybody need more, more time? time? It won't help us. <laughs> so you killed your own team again no no not really i think we got most of those cindy was saying that she had another point to make to her team because she hadn't convinced him yet well, take it over <laughs> chat real quick 
Oh yeah, you can chat to them. There you Quickly. go. Quickly. Quick uh, chat. So um Deborah. Yes, ma'am. See this thing, this pendant right here? Yes. I got that at the MPC jewelry sale. Yeah. For for like 10 bucks. Wow. Yeah, what, they have what are amazing all those things? glass. They sell they those a, at the 99 cent store. They probably <laughs> do. Kidding. But I'm, I paid ten dollars <laughs> anyway. Um, they have amazing prices and amazing stuff. Huh. Most of it's student made. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, remind what, me. What is it? The jewelry or is it? Yeah, the yeah the local community college here. They have a jewelry sale twice a year. What what kind of jewelry is it? It's not an earring. Uh, that's a pendant, a necklace. Uh huh. Um, okay. Saint George. Yeah. Yay. Right. So, Got one right, huh? No, where's George? No. George will be barking any minute. Don't worry. Are we all back and ready? I love that the, the neighborhood kids sent him get well cards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so touching. Is he oh that's right. Your dog's named George. Is, is he untoned awesome. yet? No, he's got another about like 10 days or some stupid thing. Really? Yeah, the vet said two weeks, and it's only been a week, so he's got. He's it got seems like overkill. Days. Yeah, overkill. so it could they it, it could come off after ten days, and we'll we'll see how he does. Anyway, enough about me and George. Let's talk about George. There's never <laughs> Number one, Saint George. That is so graphic looking. Oh my gosh, killing the dragon there. I like that. Isn't it pretty? She's got horns on her face. With a tiny head. It's a wimpy horse. dragon. It's the a horse dragon. is bizarre. Yes. Back, back then, horses had tiny heads and a big, really neck. big wow. necks. Yeah. A dragon wow. would never make it onto Game of Thrones. Oh, I know. <laughs> that looked like a dolly. You know, I was glad to see that a number of you got this one. I hope most of you did. George Elliott. How many letters in the last name? <laughs> we didn't get that right. Elliot. Oh, it is. Oh, hell. It's I so, didn't make any promises about how many dashes in the, in the blank. So yeah, I didn't yeah but that's what the picture Faith on the right shows. Faith one is Elliot, Elliot, Elliot has about. one L. Oh, and it's one Sam. That's right. Number two. No, I think George Elliot has two L's. Ooh, one L is go back. Go back. It has so one. Go right back and look L. at the picture. That's a pretty racy cover. Oh, you're right. It's one. Really? Oh, I misspelled it on there. Doesn't matter. You got it. Yeah, I give it to you for one L or two. Just what like Chicago, one L. In, in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> Indiana is a great book. You should read that. Both of those authors, by the way, were proto feminists and really, really wrote a lot of great stuff. Four and five. I think everybody got that, but not sure. George C. Scott and George Patton. Yes. Yeah. George went Norm. Norm. George Balanchine. This one hung a few people up. Yeah. yeah. No. Somebody got will, will, it. Will you accept his nickname, George got Corgi? <laughs> <laughs> you, if you can find some kind of source that refers to him as that. Yeah. Quick, quick team. Look. Get it with it. Wikipedia, Rob. <laughs> I think everybody got this one. Uh, George Martin. I heard some people not uh, getting George Martin. Uh, yeah. uh, again, would you accept George Corgi? <laughs> <laughs> the guy on the left is the other George. The guy on the right is George Martin. Oh, yeah. yeah. And George Strait. Yeah. Oh, oh, you. Got that wrong. We don't know our country people. Sorry. Oh, and there's, look, there's a George. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Poor little George. I'll go now. That he looks pretty happy, an actually. Awesome, awesome category. Thank you. Very good. Well, easy anyway. And Kevin's like got his too. picture up of of George Carlin. George Carlin. 1990 from Boston uh, Symphony Orchestra, fourth row. He's talking about how big a fish was he just caught. Uh, no, yeah. he's talking about the world expanding, Whoa, making these noises. <sighs> okay, so let's go <sighs> to scores. I'm trying to get to the right screen. Put the answers on the chat. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll put them in the chat. Before. This Hang might on. be a very high scoring game. For everybody, seems like, oh, seems like it. Yeah. My uh, my bonus round is going to be high scoring. Oh dear! <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, dumb it down a little bit. Okay, here we go. So let's go with no. U.S. presidents do not have Jedi powers. Seven. Okay. 
followed by Trump can declassify in his pants just by thinking I, about it. I think we got eight, but I need to check. We we went with Jones instead of straight. So uh -huh. I, I got I got seven. You know, George hey, Jones is certainly a reasonable eight. guess. No, are, you I, sharing, I are you sharing the screen? No, yeah, I, eight, eight is right. Eight is right. Eight, you can't eight, see eight. eight. Yeah, we got eight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, was right. Can uh, you guys see I, my screen? I yeah, yeah, I can yes. see it. Okay. okay. All right. I don't know so why I can't, can't, but I can't. Okay, declassification. Do you have another window open in front of it? Nine. Yet? Good. Nine. Okay, water muddlers. Yeah, that's what I say. We either got nine or ten, but yeah, we're ten. totally ten. ten. Totally ten. Totally ten. Okay. Totally right. ten. We don't have to win a trivia. Just, we just think we win. Nine. We get nine. nine. Oh crap! Well, mm -hmm. we got a couple, couple. Uh, no, no perfect, perfect score tonight for anybody. We're getting on our ass. Dude. So was it yeah. the ballet guy that got everybody? Yeah. No, I got 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 the ballet guy. Okay, George Balanchine. We got Balanchine. But but right. somebody didn't get the George Sand was the one I that mm. was, they were gonna we get could, wrong. They were gonna put 20th century person for George Sand. I couldn't remember her. Now that you say Balanchine, I know that name. And of course he had the famous film version of the Nutcracker. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Dun, 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 dun. yeah. I've never seen the Nutcracker. Really? Oh wow. Who said that? Me. Can we have you to remedy that, that Susan. Susan? Susan? Yeah. I go up to the city and see it? This every, all this they have it every year, don't they? Let's go. Yeah, they, we they have it in Salinas every year, and it's good Somebody enough. invite me. you got to see it in New York City. Remember, you guys, pets? up until 2016, every holiday I ever had, especially Christmas, was spent working. I never had weekends off. Holidays were, I was retail. A retail photographer yeah. so only since 2016 have i had had anything to do with holidays again and i've been traveling i went to new zealand and australia and stuff like that for christmas in new zealand because oh, that's where they have the conferences thanksgiving we'll go this year susan Robin, okay. if you think the local production is good that's i've never seen the local production really oh it's you fantastic haven't seen it either karen no, no, I've seen it in San Francisco a couple oh, times. Oh, well, wow. I've fine. seen it in San Jose and I've seen it here a couple times and I it's, okay, it's great we'll here. Go. We'll I go. Go to Radio City Music Hall in New York City. Okay, you and just, see what just the rock invite is. me, you guys. Invite me. And, we'll go locally and this take year. a tour. Before you I'm, go, take a tour of the building. They show you all the st stuff. It's really cool. We're not going to New York. Well, Susan, that's you're going to the best one is. Well, come on, come to New York. I'll take you to lunch. Oh, look, here comes Ellen. I saw many. My many daughter was my daughter went to Radio City Jen? Music Hall a couple days ago. She saw the uh, Lake Street Dive. Hmm. Oh. Jane, you know who Lake in New York? You guys know who Lake Street Dive is? It's a you who? Have to, you have to Google them. Lake Street Dive. They're a fantastic band. Oh. They've got right, an Caspian. amazing singer. You better Jane, take over, Caspian. Oh, in the words of Larry Miller, I love the symphony. You can't get sleep like that at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's opera. <laughs> Uh, no, no. Symphony there, too. There's too much shouting in opera. You can't sleep through that. <laughs> oh, I saw I saw Roxy Music Monday. True. Oh yeah, oh, good. Where were oh. they? In Chicago at the you know, oh, United saw. Center. Caspian. The, the 50th anniversary tour. My son had tickets. <laughs> his friends fell through, so his sister and I went with him. Oh, so, terrific, well, Caspian. Is your next category that's starting now a mystery round? No, it's not. Breaking the story. Don't tell us the round, title, and it won't be figured out the night with a mystery night. <laughs> Every party has a pooper. I have decided <laughs> to title it I've been misquoted. In well, each case, mystery. I am going to give you a common version of a quote. You are to tell me who did not say this. <laughs> hey, I didn't say similar. It. But who was the person who said something similar, but not exactly this? Hi, Translation Alan. being a thing. Number if I one. Put my name for all 10, I win, I get it right. <laughs> who's I said that. To, who's uh, muting people? I said that once. Gaffian. <laughs> the Gaffian. Yeah, I said all of them. So that's a 10. Hi. Number one. Reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. 
Number two, money is the root of all evil. Evil. Number three, there's but to do or die. Number four, be the change you wish to see in the world. Number five, a billion here, a billion there, and pretty soon you're talking real money. Number six, the ends justify the means. Number seven, blood, sweat, and tears. Number eight, nice guys finish last. Number nine, God does not play dice. And number 10, life is far too important to be taken seriously. Well, that was quick. Good job, Caspian. So to be, to be, to be clear, you want us to say who it is who's always quoted as saying this, but is really didn't say it. No, I want you to name the person who said the thing that is very similar to this, but did not say exactly this. Yeah, I think that's what, what I do mean. not want you I, to do is to assume that it's the wrong person. For example, this is not a Sarah Palin, I can see Russia from my house. Sarah Palin did not ever say that or anything remotely similar. That was Tina Fey. What I want you to do is name the person who said something very much like this, but didn't say exactly this. Isn't that That's what you said, Susan? Name the person no. being misquoted. Yes, this is a person being misquoted, yeah. not a who's, quote being who's misattributed. The person? Okay, so I was saying it like, you know how people are always saying that Lincoln said, don't believe uh, everything okay. you see, read on the internet. Right. <laughs> didn't say it, but everybody uses that meme as... Right. This would be a case where somebody quoted the Gettysburg Address, but they quoted it wrong. Okay. So similar to what it does say. Yes. Okie dokie, Artichoke. Oh, I got to put Alan on a team. So wait, are, are you going to put the names that we have to match these with? No. You need it? Bastard. <laughs> you need it? Come on, Rod. I'm putting Alan on team um, two. they're down a point. No. No. Okay. In other words, <laughs> eh. <laughs> no. I yeah. have a place with every team. So don't get excited. Well, I I think I know the first two. I could guess it's Karen knows them, right? What'd you say, Janine? I thought I knew the first two also. Okay, reports of my death so, have been greatly exaggerated as who? I know, I know. Mark Twain. Mark Twain. Mark Twain. Yes, it is. Mark Twain. That's okay, true. money is the root of all evil. That's the Bible oh. being misquoted. Oh. That's yeah, Will Rogers. The Apostle The Apostle Paul. The Apostle, the Apostle, the Apostle Paul. Paul. Okay. The Apostle Paul. And it the is. phrase is the love of the money. Love, yeah. Is the root of all evil. Okay. I second that, uh -huh. Karen. Boy, we got some religious in here. Boy, I'm shocked. <laughs> okay. There's but to do or die. <laughs> Peggy, I might call my husband in for that well, one. William Shakespeare. Oh, well, that's a that's a that's. A I don't know. Peggy that Peggy. sounds doable. Maybe an army thing. Ours is not to question why. Ours is but to do or die. Hold off on that one. I'm going to scream for my husband. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm yes, but I, I got four, though. Oh, good. Okay, what's four? Four is misquoted Mahatma Gandhi. Oh, good. What did he really say? I have no idea. Oh, he said, it. Okay, he said variation. Okay, a little bit in there. He said variations. But that's the like, quote I see everywhere with his name on it. Yeah. So he, said, he said variations like like I must be the change I wish to see in the world, or you know, he he said something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So is five um, Bill Gates or not Bill Gates? Um, Zuckerberg. <laughs> no. Somebody who's had money for a while, like 
um i was vanderbilt um no they had millions not billions. the guy that lives in the little white house that i'll think of him in a minute oh that was me <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Jane. Hey, Jane. Warren, warren buffett warren buffett oh yeah yeah that's a good one okay now seven uh six is machiavelli how do you spell it i don't just m-a-c-h-i-v-e-l-l-i -L 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 -I? Well, okay that looks close there might be a, there might be an A in there somewhere. I might be missing a syllable. I'll add a couple R's, then it'll look like I wrote it. No, okay. no yeah. R, no R. No, no, it has an R if I wrote it. Blood, number sweat. seven is it? Oh, I don't know number seven. Is that Clint Eastwood? Oh, oh, you mean eight? It's a uh, number eight. Number eight's a baseball player, isn't it? Is that Yogi Berra? Mm -mm. Oh. Or who's the other guy? Baby oh, Peggy says she's stuck. Let me go help her out here. One of those old guys. Yeah, Yogi Berra. No, oh, she's all right. Where's Peggy? I don't think it's Yogi Bear. Well, isn't that the guy who right back. has weird one-liners? Yeah, ours is not the reason why. Ours is but to do or die. There's Susan. How could yeah, you be stuck? Okay. Send her over. I, I ended up in the wrong place. And then when I was asking you, I think I was muted. Okay, muted. there you go. I fixed it. Thank you so much. Yeah, very welcome. I'm not there yet. Well, you have to put yourself in because I gave you the powers back. Oh, I have power. Ooh, I have power. Now I just have to remember who my team is. Okay, team three. Thank you. Oh, that's, yeah, okay. They die. Okay. I no, like. No, I'm making that up. I, I like it. it. Let's, I does like not play dice. Enough. Isn't that Carl Sagan? No. The other guy. I've already got that one, Susan. Oh, what is it? Einstein. Oh, that's right. That's who said it. Yeah, okay. One of those guys, smart people. Well, but but he didn't really say it. We were we were using what he might have really said. Right. Did yeah. we get nice guys finished last? I think it's a no. baseball player. Tom, did you did you, is he I see an arm. I, yeah, I got nothing from Tom this time. Sorry. Well, that's nice to know. Sorry. <laughs> Too much information. We don't need to know that. But he says three is definitely a military person, but he can't think of who. How about Patton? Patton. That's what I was thinking. Okay, yeah. let's put Patton. Oh, okay, I'm three. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to guess MacArthur, okay, so... but that's only because I only know two military guys. It's like right. how eight, we're like, we know it's a sports person, but we don't know who I on eight. Class. Joe DiMaggio, Babe Ruth. Joe, oh, Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. Joe DiMaggio was a nice guy. Why don't we put him? But he wouldn't have said it if he's a nice guy. Yeah, you know, he Marilyn dumped him. Anyway. Maybe yeah, Marilyn, Marilyn dumped him. Marilyn dumped him, and he's like, yeah, nice guys finished last. No, no, uh, he, he, has, he likes the coffee. and he No, Joe DiMaggio would never have said that. I think it's. You think it's Babe, Babe Ruth, Yogi Bear, Mickey, Mickey Mantle. Okay, let's Ooh, put Mickey Mantle. Okay. That's Mickey a good Mantle. one. Caspian's cringing right now. Could have been <laughs> Hank Aaron. I know him. I know him so well. Oh. He's going, oh. Wait, He's wait. Gonna bring over skip? something for me to watch. That's did we be skip it. Blood, Sweat, and Tears? No. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that, a, isn't that a rock group? Yeah, that's what I that thought. That is being. the name of a rock yeah, group. It's like, I'm okay. out of here. Casey, Casey <laughs> Kasem. Casey Kasem said that. Oh, okay. Really? Um, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get He's it. He's messing with you. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Life is too, life is far too important to be taken seriously. Who said that? Got to be a British person. How about that guy that sings Don't Worry, Be Happy? No. No. Oh, Bobby Larry. McFerrin. No. Bobby McFerrin. It's a good song. Well, we'll get that song stuck in our heads instead of the other one. No, it's a comedian. Who, Jane? Some comedian would have oh. said. Will Will Rogers. He said a lot of things. 
He did. I do, and I don't think that's one of them know. either because, because his were always a twist. He was this a famous, a famous lyricist. Is that what they call? Like he, he did like zingers all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need two. So we need seven and 10. And you don't think Blood, Sweat and Tears is- Oh, wait. Placement. Who was two? This Paul, oh, Paul, Paul, the Paul, Bible. Paul, Paul, Apostle Paul, Paul. That's right. Blood, Sweat and Tears. Okay. Could that be, it's either sports or military. Well, Shakespeare. Could it, I mean, it could be po a politician. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, like what is politics? Blood, sweat, tears. <laughs> Nixon. No, it's, it's older than that. It's got to be Theodore Roosevelt. Santana. <laughs> Jefferson. Washington. <laughs> George, it's another George. Just keep going back in time. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Blood, sweat, and tears. Ben Franklin. Santana. Ben Franklin. <laughs> okay, Ben Franklin. He wasn't the president, but why not? <laughs> Said a lot of oh, I don't think that's correct, but put something down. We okay. got one minute. And number 10. Oh. I mean, Franklin could have said number 10, too. Okay. Oh. Put Ben Franklin. But it doesn't yeah. sound like Franklin. That's too no. well, say, say something else then. It sounds better than seven for Franklin. Will Will Rogers then. William Will Rogers. Okay. All right. Will Rogers. For a wow. 10. Uh, and, unless you come up with something in 30 seconds that's correct. I got, I'm just guessing. 10 could be Grouch, 10 could be Groucho Marx. There you Excellent. go. Oh. There we go. Oh, that's why better. is too important to be taken seriously? I, like I just it. said it, so write my name down. Rebecca, wiggle your cigar when you say that. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was thinking, that's I was like, who's one. the guy with the thing? Yeah. Who's <laughs> the guy with the thing? We know what you're talking about when you go like that. Okay, well, great job, team. Here it was an awesome. Uh, this was a little quick. Well, that's good because we've been dragging ourselves out the whole game. Can you? Yeah, it looked like most teams were pretty well finished. We did so. it? We did it. Just it's it's so yes. late. I already figured out tomorrow's wordle. If anyone? <laughs> no. You. The point is, watch you never it. tell watch anybody their wordle. Well, All right. Number one: Reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. That was Mark Twain, who actually said. The report of my death was an exaggeration. Okay. Number two, money is the root of all evil. Paul the Apostle uh, actually wrote, the love of money is the root of all evil. Of all kinds of evil. So you want to get God? Translations, so. You were close, Jane. Number three, there's but to do or die. Alfred Tennyson. Okay. There's not the reason why mm. there's but to do and die. Oh, so oh, dark. George Patton. So dark. <laughs> yeah, no, they're not, they don't, they don't have a chance of survival. Yeah. So dark. According to the quote. So dark. Number four, be the change you wish to see in the world. That was Gandhi. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. The Z tendencies Z in the world would also change. Yay, team. Okay. Number five, billion, a billion here, a billion there, was U.S. Senator Everett Dirksen. All right. Oh, come on. Oh. He regularly <laughs> said a billion here, a Very billion good. there, but he never said the full quote. So he was talking about like, like government and budget. appropriation right. of money, not his own money then. Correct. Right. Oh, that right. makes sense now. We don't think so. I almost met him, but he was unavailable to, to talk to our group. Oh, well, wow. I'm glad my team talked me out of Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, the ends justify the means. Most commonly attributed to Machiavelli. Yay, team. One must consider the final result. Mm. Similar sentiment, not the same quote. Yep. Blood, sweat, and tears. 
Winston Churchill. Oh, oh that's right. Oh, my tears very happy. What's the real quote? Making, Somebody was singing over what you was said. Was he Kathy. making fun of his obesity? <laughs> I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears, and sweat. Oh. Yeah. Number eight, nice guys finish last. That was Leo ah. Garosher. Uh, oh, nice guy baseball guy there in seven is, is he a baseball player <laughs> yes can, we hear a, can people just not talk until we get the caspian thing and then we can react to it he was Sorry. a hall of fame manager probably most famous for managing mm. the brooklyn dodgers when jackie robinson broke in with the team what did he actually say though that got stepped on the nice guys are all over there in seventh place Okay. Oh, but but his book was called that title. Nice yes, guys finished last. Uh, there, there did be a, appear to be a couple of different quotes that were done at multiple times, but this is the one that I could find that was best sourced. Okay. Number nine, God does not play dice. Albert Einstein. Okay. Speaking about quantum mechanics, he wrote <laughs> that I am at any rate, and convinced that he does not play dice. Okay. He objected to the uh, indeterminacy of quantum mechanics in the 1920s. And number 10, life is, whatever, I can't read it. A cabaret. <laughs> wild. Box of life is far too important uh -oh. to think ever to talk hey. seriously about it. Oscar Wilde, oh, wow. Wow, we sucked. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a couple. This should be interesting. Okay, let's go. You know, no it's longer, funny. I no you longer, know. I no longer feel bad about how hard my category was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so Alan, Alan was on the new on the no. U.S. presidents do not have Jedi powers. So, how did you guys do with Alan now? <laughs> Three. Oh. Alan. <laughs> How would you have done without I got Alan? one of the three. Come on. <laughs> yes. That's true. And you were on the right track with that one. You you were thinking sports. So <sighs> Trump can declassify in his pants just by thinking about it. By wow. Oops, I got the nine. same score we got for Rob's category. So yeah. Six to one. <laughs> Got an extra. Oops, that's supposed to be a comma. Oh, I can't have that. I can't have it with the wrong grammar. Okay. Uh -huh. So let's go with declassification by telepathy. Eight. Ooh. Ooh nice. Okay. Making let's a comeback. Go, let's go with uh, we don't have to win at trivia. We just have to think we won. Six. Six. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. And last but not least, Caspian's own team. Water muddlers, how badly did you screw your team? Five. <laughs> oh, one point down. What? What? And Robin thinks we're all going to get 10 on her. So I think you should make it harder, Robin. Matter rules. No. <laughs> no, no, You're no, no. It, Robin. <laughs> make it harder. Somebody will get one. I don't think I can make it harder. I could do mono rules. It would make it really hard, but um, yeah, I like mono rules. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is going to be maybe too easy. There are 14 states in the United States in which the Appal Appalachian Trail passes through. Name 10 of them. Oh, I don't know if that's. Oh, Kevin likes that. Kevin I like likes it. my. <laughs> I know a friend who, went who did it. Ah. Oh, her Thank daughter you did for it pronouncing too. it correctly, Robin. Appalachian? Appalachian? No, it's Appalachian. 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 Can you put it in the chat so that I will just potato, potato, potato. Oh, good. Right. Appalachian on my team. They get it's a very Africa common mistake Africa. that everyone pronounces it that way. So it's I thought you had to pronounce correct. it based on if there was a banjo. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's get it straight. Is it Caribbean or Caribbean? <laughs> Himalayas Caramel or Himalayas? Caramel. Is it on? Um, <laughs> All right, let's go. Rodeo or rodeo? I do put it in the chat, somebody, the category name, so I copy and paste this. I don't embarrass myself by not being able to spell it or pronounce it. 
Uh, my favorite. Go to, let's go to let's go to Chelsea or Cal Gary. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, put the answer in as a link. One. So um, <laughs> should okay. we go to our? Well, rooms I just talked about the category name. Send us to our rooms. Yeah, go for it. I can put it. States that border, states that have the Appalachian Trail in it. That state states yeah, that, that have some portion of the Appalachian Trail running through them. It's ten. Um, yeah, in ten, ten states. Yeah. Uh, Appalachian. Hey, Suri, how do you spell Appalachian? Appalachian. A P P A L A. -C. Okay, thank you, Suri. All right, five. You got it? Okay. You're on mute. I don't have powers. Yeah, you do. You just came back. I no, don't have powers. Them. Yes, you do. I just gave. I you have my. It wants me to remove them. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You got it. All right. I'll start. I, with... I got this. Oh, there's Susan. Um... Oh boy, Susan's here. I have no idea. I've never been there. West Virginia. West Virginia. Maybe Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. Virginia. Um, North and South Carolina. Probably. Um, there's 13, right? I'm I'm not sure about South Carolina. Tennessee, Tennessee, um, Kentucky, Tennessee, definitely. Kentucky. I think I think it hits New York and New Jersey. Really? Yeah. Um, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. That's what I thought was Pennsylvania too. How about Connecticut? Yeah, I think so. It is really. I think so. Hmm. It starts up like in Maine. Does it really? I had no idea. I didn't know that. I didn't it know it went down. that far north. Does it go into Vermont? Uh, New Hampshire. Probably. Yeah. Well, how many do we have, you guys? Well, okay. Well, if I cross out South Carolina, um, we have two. eleven then. I think. 11. I got 11. I have 11 written down here. Yeah. I, I got Maine, North Carolina. Uh, so I don't know if everyone said these. These are just my list plus what I wrote. So I may have missed something other people said. I got Maine, North Carolina, Georgia, Virginia. Oh, Georgia. New Georgia's York. way down there. If, if South Carolina is not on it, then Georgia's not on there. Well, because uh, Georgia's below South Carolina. Well, I can. I pass that for now. New York, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, New Jersey. We said West Virginia, Connecticut, Vermont. Pennsylvania. Do you have that in there? Yeah, I got Pennsylvania. So if we go Maine, North Carolina, Virginia, New York, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, New Jersey, West Virginia, Connecticut, and Vermont, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 10 right there. Okay. Okay. Let's let's do those. How y'all doing? Good. Hey Susan, did you decide if you're leaving Wednesday or Thursday for uh, PsyCon? I haven't decided, but it probably probably be one of those two days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting on Mark. He should be feeling better in the next day or so. Today okay. we put in a new. We, we took his mattress. He's got a new mattress, so his back is feeling better. He's sleeping better. And then I put today he we got he went down and got three quarter inch plywood and put it in and took out his um bed springs. Box oh, yeah. spring. Yeah, because it was spring. box springs, because they were like this tall. And so it was making it really hard for him to get in and out of the bed. Oh cool. Huh. I had he went down to Home Depot and they they gave him the wrong size plywood. Mm. Thankfully, I have all the tools and I cut them. You have lots of tools. So I had fun doing that. Good sound effects. Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, because I just did it earlier. But we put those in. So now his bed is lower so he can like touch his feet on the ground when he when he sits up. I can't touch the feet on my feet on the ground on my bed, but it's I can't like, either. No. I have like drawers in my bed. So oh. well, he's got it now, so he's got it set up. So hopefully he'll be. Tomorrow he should be done with his Lupron shot. So let's see how he's doing. 
Yeah. I, I, I was just trying to figure out what time the flights were. Cause yeah. Because I, um, I want to go on Thursday, but I don't want to get in late. I want to get there by in the middle afternoon. At the oh, latest. yeah. Yeah, either early. Um, yeah. Are you going to fly with us? Well, it depends on what day you go. Because I, I made my reservation for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I suppose I could change it, but I don't, I, I don't really want to go hotel room? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's easy to change. And um, then uh, uh, Janine said that um, there's somebody from up there, was their, their scholarship oh, yeah, yeah. person. Um, and I, I said, that's fine. But then when I made the reservation, they wanted to know their name and their email address oh, no, no, and all this other stuff. So cares. I just made it, I made a two bed room, but I just, I can't yeah, make it. Yeah, you just hand them a key. Nobody cares. Well, the only reason why they should have their name on the account is if they lock themselves out. Well, I would add them later, but I just didn't know yeah. any of their information. So, and I don't know if she's going to come. It's her scholarship. So. Yeah, it's I know. But she, I didn't know whether she was, she did, Janine Did didn't we meet know. Her? Huh? Did I don't, yeah, she said she was at the thing in Eugene, but I don't remember. But, um, <clears throat> was she the one but, that was hanging out with Jane? What was her name again? I forget. She was younger, right? Yeah, I think so. I think her name started with a J. Let's see here. So, Carl, I talked to uh, Mike Dersulik. I told him. Oh, I is he going to go? No. Huh. I asked him if you, I said, I don't think you're going to go, but I just wanted to check and see if you're going to go. It's going to feel really weird to be like not having Carl there. Not Carl, so, Carl, you're not going, Carl? I'm going. No, no, Carl is going, oh. but oh. <laughs> it's like not having Carl go, Mike Dersulik. Oh, okay. I met him at TAM and I, he's just always been there. Yeah. He, yeah. Uh, his little girl. So Mike Darcelik is for Jamie, who's who's here, going what the hell? Mike Darcelik <laughs> is a guy who's always been at Psycon and always been at Tam, and he's always around. So um, he a few years ago, he had he had really bad cancer. He's had a couple kinds of cancer, and so he has no ability to have babies. It's all gone, right? So they were trying to adopt, and oh god, it was just gone and on, I, on yeah i remember at the last ci psycon he was talking about i probably won't be able to go next year hopefully because hopefully i'll, I'll have be adopted a baby trying to do this adoption yeah his wife had health issues or something and then you know they got their life straightened out and she's in good shape so so i was talking to him yesterday and he was telling me the story of how his little girl she had every kind of health issue she's had three surgeries she's only like a year and a half old so they did adopt somebody they did adopt a baby yeah they did get a baby and they were they had like a website you know it was just a big deal it was a huge deal to get the baby they were driving all over trying you know they're like oh we might have one tomorrow in north carolina but we gotta mm -hmm. go get her you know and then oh it didn't come out you know it's like the mother decided not to so they live in chicago and they ended up going to almost to ohio in indiana right on the border and the mother, and I think they had like a day's notice too. So they went over and they met the mother, they co contacted the mother on the phone. And then they went and went to the hospital, met the mother and the baby. And then they moved the baby into another room and the mother left. And I was thinking, he says, that was the hardest thing he's ever seen is seeing the mother give up the baby. And, and now the baby has all these health issues. Well, she had a kidney replacement. She had a donor kidney. So in other words, a baby died to give her you know holy cow they were able to donate a baby oh yeah so the baby <laughs> itself has a, a donated kidney yeah wow. she's had all sorts of surgeries she was in horrible health they just took out her um upper nose all that stuff she's been on, yeah. she had a trach she had she was in just awful shape she's wow. adorable little redhead just, so i don't know if the mother gave her up because she had so many health issues and and knew she was gonna have health issues or not i don't know but anyway so they're still the mother still you know they zoom with her every so often so she can see the baby so anyway he told me they're they're starting adoption for a second baby now and i was like oh my gosh the mother of this baby has just been phenomenal she's always putting up pictures and talking about you know she started the little girl starting to talk and she can walk now and no she yeah. must be too ben, ben and i have a friend who who adopted two kids both of them from las vegas uh -huh. were they together or just oh no, no. several several years apart were they related to each other or no just no, no no they had a relationship with somebody who lives in vegas and that's why well his, his, his wife 
family is in Vegas. Mm. Henderson. So they have contacts out there. Yeah, that makes sense. Wow. So Mike Dersulik said he's driving all over. Hmm? Is this being recorded? Yeah. Okay. I I don't want to go into too much detail of my friend's personal life if we're being recorded. But it's it's an interesting thing that, um, you know, he, when Mike was trying to adopt this first child, it was, oh my God, you know, he's going through the ringer. They had to put up websites, answer ads. They had to really be careful of what they said so that they could get, oh, it was just a mess. And this time it shouldn't be any problem at all. They're going to be able to just walk in and, and. Are you guys ready? Oh yeah, yeah we're, we're gossiping. There was, there's one team that hasn't finished their list yet, but I'm oh, going to really? go ahead. Are they talking? Yeah, they're talking about it. No, I was gonna, they're, they're talking they're about gonna the have to. They're going to have to finalize it. I'm going to close the room. Close the rooms will make them, make them do it. Tell now. them not Nevada. <laughs> California, <laughs> New Mexico, Oregon, Arizona, that, all those good states. I'm sure that's it. Uh, the lady's name is Lauren. Um, Lauren. Lauren App- Appel, like that. I have asked Janine which one she was. Yeah. She can point to her in a photo or something. But she hasn't told me. She Janine was going to see Hamilton last night, so she never answered me about Janine whether Janine went to go see Hamilton. Yeah, with her friend. I forget which one. At a play? I assume you mean the stage production and not Susan Cat. I guess. I don't know. It was up in Oregon. It was up in Eugene. Yeah, no, it wasn't. She did not see Susan Cat. Eugene has a a showing of of Hamilton. I guess. I don't know if they went to Eugene or where they went, but she was. I I listened to it on the Disney thing. I couldn't. I had to have the words put on the screen so I could read it. (laughs) Janine. Yes. So um, Lauren person that you think might be going to Cyclone? Yes. I met her. I don't know. Which one? And I just, during trivia, I got an email from her that she (laughs) submitted her application, but I haven't looked at it yet because I've been here. Hmm. Hanging out with Jane in the, where they were. She was hanging out with James and Chris. And and Josh at that table, that long table at that restaurant on the Saturday. Oh, I don't. Was she I don't know. The side, like she came in, she couldn't sit at the table. She was sitting off on one of the sides. Mm-mm. Where, I don't think where so. uh, James? I don't remember. I don't remember them being at Saturday night dinner. Jane, do you remember which one she is? I don't know who she is, but when Janine told me about her, for, for some reason, I had the idea that she was who I think you're thinking of that was sitting at one of those like bar tables that was like to the side of our table. Like, oh, at, oh maybe. Do you have a picture of those people? Yeah, I do. I know so, Josh. I know Josh really well, and but I knew him before he started going with Lauren. I think I didn't put the picture up because it was very unflattering of Chris. So I, will. <laughs> so I said, I'm not putting that picture up. It didn't look so great, but I, I didn't don't think she show us. I, I didn't show us and I can tell you. I'll, I'll show it whenever, when we're done with this category, but I think that's did, what it was. Did my little brother uh, show up at all tonight? No, a little snot. Nope. We waited for him <laughs> and he didn't show. We had a distinct shortage of signers today. Yeah. We almost hey, canceled. Hey, Alan, I'm going to be in Sacramento. Can you make sure that your daughter knows that I'm going to be in Sacramento and she should come out for my talk? Uh, when are you going to be there? Because she's here right now. Oh, yeah. well, figures. Well, when are you going to be there? Um, October 8th and 9th. Oh, no, okay. She's going back next week. So, uh, um, Sacramento um, area skeptics. Oh. Yeah, I think I saw that. I saw that on, on, on Facebook. So, um, Saturday. And then the 9th is Free Thought Day. Mm. okay so robin how how anybody interested in hearing the answer oh, no. <laughs> no. what the, uh, oh did yeah. everybody get their list finalized yeah He's okay out. there is the link oh. i'll click on the link and i'll just uh here there's only 14 read them off there's only 14. We have Georgia. It begins in Georgia. There is nothing south of Georgia. Oh. So no Florida. No. I thought it began in Maine. 
Well, it depends on which direction you're going. <laughs> Georgia, North Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, Very West sure. Virginia, oh, Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, wow. New York. In fact, it goes pretty close to New York City. Connecticut, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Wait, wait a second. We had potato skins, mozzarella sticks, <laughs> chicken wings. <laughs> yeah, Mike, that's oh, the perfect. Ap appetizer trail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? The Dr. Oz said the tray, the the cutery board, cutlery, what do they call Charcuterie. it? Yeah, Charcuterie. 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 We should that should be a bonus. What's on the tray? <laughs> um okay, everybody calibrate your calibrate your scores here. I have to say I've lived in New York and New Jersey for my entire life and I had no idea it went through either of our states. Really? That's because you do so much hiking. I Rob. do so much hiking, that is yeah. true. <laughs> I always pictured it as a Southern thing down in Virginia. That's it. <laughs> okay, so whenever this is over, I will show you some pictures. I've pulled, I pulled them up to see if it's the person. Maybe we should get together sometime this weekend, Susan, and <laughs> coordinate some plane tickets with Deborah. Well, it's really yeah. easy to do. I haven't asked for the time off yet, but. Peggy hey, Peggy, up. she's taking some time off. Uh, no, I don't think so. I have uh, a plan that weekend. She's taking some time off. I'm Do you have plans that weekend? We're no. gonna free this weekend. We're gonna kidnap Robin. Why don't we just take Peggy with us? That too. No. Oh come Why? on, Peggy, you'll have a blast. It's fun. I'm sure I would, but I can't go if she's going. Oh come on now. Yeah, you could just fly can out I, on Saturday. Okay, Friday can night. I just remind you about George? I have a puppy. And. Oh I'm yeah, committed. you've got a whole neighborhood of people who are giving them. Also, Peggy cards. does not mingle with people who might have COVID. I'm Ooh. pretty careful. She she hasn't had COVID. She's like the only person who hasn't had COVID yet. Uh, well, just get it off. Kyle yeah. hasn't had it. Yet. Hasn't. No. I haven't had it. Wow, really? I haven't had it. Mm -hmm. I haven't, wow. had, it. I haven't oh. had it. Okay. My boss. I'm starting to think it's not real. Time. <laughs> yeah. I was super yeah. careful before I got vaccinated, but oh yeah, before, after, well, after I got my no, you just well, it's Susan. Just, the word you're it. looking for was crudita. 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 Yeah, somebody's yeah. got to come up with a crudita. Um, before we go to the answers, I want to say one thing that we thought we thought about is that it's specifically the trail and not necessarily the range. They they aren't are they the same thing? as far as the Appalachian mountains. mountains no no the trail is a specific thing right. it's a the trail right. runs through the Appalachian mountain range right I, I think it is kind of along the mountain along the ridge along well yeah the but there but not there there are some states maybe that the range touches that are in the trail that could have Possibly. led to some people's confusion the Appalachian trail is an actual designated trail right uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, people could have gotten confused. I see George. Wait a second. How about Google Maps, Facebook, uh, the messages, <laughs> Safari, not the application trail? Have... Somebody knows. <laughs> this, is, this is off the AT. One more, this Mike. Is... You got one more in there? <laughs> this, is, this is a view of McAfee. He's trying. Rona, He's trying so hard. Beautiful. Okay. Like, this was a 10 mile out and back hike that took us six to eight hours to get here on Halloween last year. Oh, nice. Okay, Beautiful. Jane, Jim, Rob, Adrian, and Alan. Jim's not here anymore. What is your score? Well, thanks to Jane, who knew 13 of the 14, we have 10. Oh, good. Nice. Wow. Well done. Jane knows her appellation. She even that. Like, she pronounces it correctly. We're still not all these, Kevin. I thought it was going to total up. Well, that well, is the total. Well, okay. So Peggy, Bob, Kyle, well, Vincent's back, and Mike, who's Wordle dude, whatever his name is over there. <laughs> Mike Wordle. I'm going to call you Mike Wordle. We got eight. You are in the lead for the in second. In the lead. Oh, look at the three way tie here. Water mm. mothers. Mm. Six. 
<gasps> Agree. Ooh, I don't think that's going to be good enough, you guys. Yeah, we suck. Seven. Okay. Seven. Declassification Seven. by water how, how is that possible? You guys didn't get them right. Wow. Ten. Water modelers got seven. 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 <gasps> okay, so declassification by telepathy. Ten. Ooh. Well, that showed you guys. Thank you, team. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so well now done. this team could get it. They could have it. Cindy, we Faith, could and have Joe, it. Kevin, and Gail. We got ten. We got ten. Oh! 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 Several mistakes nice. on this trail. We, Faith had the south, and and then I had the north. And Very everybody else nice. agreed. Well done. Nice. Look at that. Have, uh, well done, team. You didn't have last place, so that's got to be said for some. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> right. come at, what is it? The nice guys finish in fifth place. The nice guys finish last. That's right. Yeah. I have to thank Rob. Very for nice victory. people on that team. Very well. I have to thank Rob for Rob. Rob too, well, not Kevin, Rob. welcome, Kevin. Adrian and Alan. <laughs> this was a good game. Tonight was a good game. Well, 45 is a, I mean, the maximum yeah. score you can get is 50. So, <clears throat> yeah. That's saying it's a lot. Pretty good. Pretty good. Can, I, can good. I propose a Billy Joel? moratorium for at least a month yeah <laughs> my next category next week was going to be billy joel come on oh, that's a month i just need a break man <laughs> no. too, we've Peg. only done Great. three categories on him how could there be anything left to do with billy joel so, Susan, oh, next don't week. ask that I need, uh, need people for next week. Really I, I need to. Go. I need to <laughs> nag a few people to get get uh, um people to play for next week okay let's see i've got uh, kevin i've got jamie for bonus I, need three I can actually do another. I can do a regular round. Caspian. Good night. I got one in mind. Good to see Carl. you. Raising my right hand so you can tell it's real. Mike, Mike Wordle. Mike's really raising his hand. He used his other hand. How come Wordle has have six have letters? His fingers crossed in his other hand. <laughs> both hands. Show them both. <laughs> Aww. We got to record it anyway, Mike. So next week. Yeah, I got you, Mike. <laughs> okay, Carl, Kevin, Caspian, and Mike, and Jamie is doing the is the, doing the bonus. Oh, it's all guys. Oh. It'll be a missing category. <laughs> I, offered, I'm not to I offered. I offered. Wait, wait. Did I hear Cas Caspian's going two weeks in a row? Oh my god. Oh well, if Karen's no. got one, let's put Karen in and put Caspian no. the next time. Okay, Karen, Thank you're you, on. Karen. I didn't realize that. Sorry. Okay, I'm putting Cas. Oops, darn it. <sighs> Oops, Susan. Yeah. I think the last time I played, you weren't having people contribute their questions. It was all you. Wow, that was that a, long a long time ago. Time ago. Yeah, it, it was a long time ago. And I think that's why I didn't understand when I was talking to you about the Spruce Goose trivia, you said that I should really do the trivia. Oh. And I didn't understand you were implying I should run a category on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, now yeah. that you've given ah. it away. Um, no, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> We, we, we I, make yeah, people I wait about three weeks. Yeah, so that's what we did is about, God, oh my gosh, I was going to say six months ago, but it's probably been a year oh. and a half. So every I did run all the categories. I wrote every category every week and people kept going, I, I have a category. And, I, and so we finally said, all right, somebody else. And so we, we've worked this out. So I never know the categories. I don't know anything about it. They could all be about the Summer Olympics every one of them because nobody knows what the other people are doing so we we've, we've been really lucky we haven't had any problems but um yeah i mean so we everybody does a category now i once in a while somebody will do like it'll be all rob or all carl or i'll do it or mm. whatever some or peggy will do it somebody will do all of the categories but now what it is, we do it that way. And then I go and I play the person. When I when I set up the teams, I make the the leader of the team is separate from each group. So there's five teams and there, there's never two leaders in the same group. So that way, when they come out to do the category, I go into their team. So I'm like the floater. Not that I'm much help. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you are it just sometimes, depends yeah there's some, i'm I sure there's it. video out there maybe getting something right but <laughs> all the fun yeah. all the fun and then when i'm recording uh, because i'm recording it from my end the recorder follows me so i get to go into each room and and one room shines on the recording uh, so and then it'll be the next one and the next one so 
if you want to look at the video of this later, you will see the category I'm on. You'll see it's just focused on your on your team, and then it'll go to the you know the next room and the next room. And it, and people who who do the categories, they they do and like going and looking at the video of the part where they did their team, because they're not usually in their room. They go back in and they can watch the video of it because, I mean, why would you hang out in your own room? When you know it's being recorded, you can watch it later. It's I do because I like to see it. the reaction when people get the aha moment. Yeah, but you mm -hmm. can do it in other rooms. And yes, you know, that's you true. I see it later. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I, by the way, I am not going to watch uh, your room in this video. <laughs> so got three. That's why it was painful the first time. <laughs> Rob, Sorry, Rob. Rob, 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 Rob was, I tell Rob people every time if you're writing the categories, if you're yeah. writing them. You know one thing, I will always be on your team. So if you write a category, keep me in mind because you know for sure, guaranteed, I will be part of your team. So right, what size is Susan Shu? In the time I did Wikipedia, our team got five. Yeah, but that was all <laughs> numbers. And you came Rob, up with some that's crazy why we did Wordle questions. a couple of times. That's right. Rob, done three Rob. or four Wordle characters. You guys did someone. Wordle the week I wasn't here. We Rob, did Wordle what, three times so far. What was so Rob's far. category? Time what was Rob's category times. today? Rob, what was your category? It was a mystery category. The first time I've ever done that. And surprise, surprise, exactly. Kevin's team is the only one who figured out the category. It was hard as heck. It was really no, hard. Our team figured out the category. Who teams yeah. got it? I, I yeah. kicked myself. We got it, but I didn't have the category. Yeah, I was, um, Karen, had, I never we, heard from Karen. Did she kick her? Did you kick yourself, Karen? No, you didn't we know We figured it out. Once, no, once got, I heard uh, it. Rebecca figured it out, and then it was like on fire. It was oh, a big aha moment. Okay. Yeah. Did, I missed that. Okay, cool. Alan, yeah, we she had did. the team we wasn't even close to figuring it out. We had three <laughs> mysteries in a row. Yeah. So Alan, the song was uh, We Didn't Start the Fire. We didn't start the fire. And it was ten, ten things from that song. And people were thinking, oh, the cat the, it's Star Trek, and somebody said Michelle Nichols for one of the Well that was <laughs> Star Trek. That, it certainly explained why on the surface none of the answers seem related to each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, Patrick, at one point Stewart, we thought it was Borg, um like uh, no. <laughs> i did get close enough to say to suggest that it was 1950s 1960s yeah we did get the sort of decade thing. kind of got yeah, the, 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 what did you say <laughs> oh at one point we were off on a, a a wrong idea about song lyrics but that led us back into the right path uh, we were in, we thought simon and garfunkel and then we we realized wait, wait a minute these are all song lyrics I and then it hit article. us the Billy Joel oh my god and it all fell into place so Kevin's really into Billy Joel even though he says he isn't that's Billy Joel's hand behind me there's Billy Joel's hands She's <laughs> again so I propose the moratorium <laughs> again I I second Petty I second Moratoria. Petty I take pictures of his band and I know half the people what did in Peggy the band say? I met them all. I propose a moratorium on the Billy Joel theme because otherwise I'm going to have to start studying them. And I'm not a big fan and I don't want to listen to that music. I'm not I'm a, a fan big fan of his either. either. But once you all. listen, you'll be like, oh my God, he's so freaking good. I didn't know no, he wrote I'm that. Not a fan. No, no, this Kevin. Is no. <laughs> that never happened. In our group, there were definitely people who said, I don't know any Billy Joel. And I, I, I said, I'm from New York. I have to. Uh, <laughs> it's a requirement in New York. Is he from I was, New York? I was listening to Billy Joel on the way home tonight. Oh, so I thought Alan, of Kevin. Alan, you are, you are pure. <laughs> you are a concert cellist or whatever it is you do. Uh, I supplied photos <laughs> for the first time of Billy Joel to that. Symposium. What is I wrong with you? I supplied photos for the brochure for the symposium at Colorado College in 2016. And okay, I was on Kevin, I love you. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Joel. Well, I, I heard it. I heard somebody propose it and second it. I didn't hear an actual vote, Karen. Are we going to have a vote? Yeah. I'm not Robert doing it. I don't do them anymore. I did. Two. I call the question. I second it. <laughs> what was it, Castle? I sent him. Oh, I didn't send that. Video. I'm calling the question. Therefore, under Robert's rules of order, we're required to have a vote now. <laughs> Thank you, Caspian. <laughs> Can I, I second won't that? do it. You guys did it, not me. Rob to. did it. 
I know this moratorium applies to everyone. I have a question. I'll do Elton John in that again. Oh, oh, I'm going to have a category on Led Zeppelin. And so is everybody going to know? We did it already. Led we did Led Zeppelin. No, no we've oh. never done Led Zeppelin. All right. I thought, I thought do Led did. Zeppelin. Okay. I, I might I might know something. Okay. And remember, I will always be on your team, except for the week I'm in Psycon. <sighs> but um, what we I'm wondering, should we put a moratorium on bonus questions? What? Why? Yeah. Because it's categories. making it so the scores are too high. What? For what? Too high for what? What? In suggesting move to a normal. <laughs> They're not calories. So called bonus. I think yes. I'm not talking about bonus category. I'm talking about eleventh question. Oh, no. that's where even getting a twelfth oh, question. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you guys were all bit out of shape thinking I was going to get rid of bonus. Yeah, I think I think the bonus oh, would be okay if it is the theme. If it's no, a tough round, you need that no, bonus sometimes. No, no, no. Yeah, no. But, I mean, it's a no, you just team. get a lower score. But, yeah, but just for an extra question, no. Yeah. No, the it, only, it, one time I every, had to do everybody one. Everybody gets the bonus or doesn't. Categories. I've been leaving them out lately. I think we should leave them out. I think it'll speed up the game a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I agree yeah. with you because I don't see, like, yeah. Why, what's the point? Like, logically, what's the purpose of it? You have ten. I used like, to do them when my rounds were really hard, but as it's a little bit easier. Because it makes me feel smarter. <laughs> yeah, think, but then I you think... feel like you've wasted it if you get eleven of them and then you only get ten points. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. So true. yes, I vote to ban them. I think we should stronger. we should go have a moratorium on that. <clears throat> Who is it? Who's got scores next? Who's doing it next week? It's, um... Okay, Mike. <laughs> No. So, so by doing that, by the way, Amy, like, oh, my, bonus. let me put I this out to you. Karen, bonus. Kevin, and Carl, you're all here. So, Susan, yeah. By, by banning that, what you're doing is you're making it even more likely that someone who's a ringer is going to win the round by more points, right? Because because the other people are helped by the extra point because they didn't get them all right. Unless the other you team, the other no. team that might have gotten 12 is going to get 10 if they get 10, 11, or 12. Right, but the other people who only got four or five might get one extra point and be a little closer. I think it we'll helps the stupid. See, I I knew why I like the bonus. That question. is correct. It helps the stupid. I wouldn't people. say stupid, but that is correct. It helps and the people like who, Trump, who aren't ringers in the category. I think we're going to try it, and let's see, because again, it will speed everything up. Yeah. The only Everybody reason why. Wait, wait. The only reason why we've been putting in the eleventh and or sometimes even a twelfth question is because you just have extra ones left over. So I think if you were writing the category and you say to yourself, this is too hard, I need to add a 11th and 12th question, then maybe take out one of the hard questions and put that one that you were going to put in that was, might have been easier in. Oh, so no. I think yeah, you'll make the make person- I get rid of the bonus. I take out the easy question and leave the hard. Whatever. Yeah. I think it'll stick out. if you want to do a theme, you can still do a theme. Just make it the 10th question. What is right. that? But you don't even, That's yeah, you, you don't even need to do that. Sometimes the theme, the, there's yeah, nothing the theme wrong with making a category absolutely. that's too hard. It just means that everyone will not like you. If they have fun doing it, they won't mind if it's hard. If it's Punch and Judy, that's fine. We all <laughs> I suck at that. Punch and Judy. So we had a category once called Punch and Judy that I wrote, and everybody hates it. So Go figure. I thought everybody knew Punch and Judy. But the thing is, a little like I think it'll speed things up. And I think the person writing the category will will think it through more because they'll they'll say it's either too easy right now or it's too hard. Because we shouldn't be getting too many 10 categories. <laughs> more six, seven. That's where we should be. Because we've been lately, we've been getting 40s, lots of 40s and 44, 45 scores. That seems a lot friendly inflation. pretty good that's average in nine around yeah so this this time we averaged uh the average score was 40 this was there a, was there a I, I so i don't have a list was there a bonus on category one i don't remember that uh that was um the first one that was gail so yes. that was, yeah uh, yeah yes. mystery yeah there was a bonus yeah too. yeah she had one so that was super easy and yeah, that one didn't had, need one because that was super easy. Yeah. So when it's really easy. But my average was, one. I knew my average was not going to be the best. So it was seven on my round. So, I, and that was with a bonus. 
So hypothetically, that would have been a six. And I don't think we should have a point for come up with a theme. I think that should be the the mm. theme should be the thing that gives you the connection. But you could use the theme as question ten. I don't think we need to. No, I like to do it without it, so people. Yeah, get I think the we theme. should do it without it. And then they, it's ten questions, and if they get the theme, it helps them solve the ten. Right. Yeah, because right. it shouldn't be because it's almost kind of like too easy. I'm gonna I'm put, making notes here. To, Remind everybody, but you guys are all. And what about multiple every... choice? Keep them to four or less, not ten. <laughs> oh yeah, but and. but also no true or false. I hate true or false questions. Really? Yeah, that's kind of yeah. Sometimes that's true or false are okay. It's a coin flip. Yeah. It's not really that depends. Yeah, it's not squirting when you had a fifty percent chance of getting it right. The only thing that stinks about them is when it's a trick question. I don't like a trick true or false. And they're question. almost always sort. And you never know. Is it partly true? Is it I don't know. I just, that's just, it's an aesthetic thing that it's better to give three or four multiple not, choices like, instead of a true or false, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And, and multi, uh, multiple choices are good when you, you suspect that a lot of people aren't going to know what the answer is. Yeah, Caspian. <laughs> <laughs> for average for the round. All right. I got to go. Okay. So are we I, say, wait, I, I, I'm okay with yeah. this. This is Lauren. Okay. Do you oh, remember yeah. her from? Hey, well, not really, but. Okay, just a minute. Nice. This is Lauren with Josh. Let's see. Hi, Hi Alan. Alan. Hi. Hi, Alan. Okay, I was going to show you. Uh, yeah, that, okay. uh, Maybe. Who are these people? So I'm oh, not going to say no to true and false. I'm just making it clear. But I think we should be wary of true and false and, and tone them down somewhat. Well, we don't do that many. Yeah, really. you just, uh, really I don't think if, if you want to do a true and false, you can make a four choice, multiple choice, and have a couple of the choices really silly that nobody's going to pick anyway. Well, that's true. But I think we should just, because I know I used to write, when I used to write the category, sometimes I'd come up with seven or eight questions. I just could not come up with a mind. So oh, no more man. than three true or false questions well, just, or something like that. Just be, wear, be mindful of, oh, I hate that yeah. one. Just be cautious about using too many true or false. Sometimes you do need them. Just be careful how they're worded. Okay, good. So next week we'll have some different things, but I'm, I'm going to end the recording because I want to show that picture. Susan uh, Caspian called the question and we never voted. I voted? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to do it anymore. I don't care. That's no big deal. I don't know. Right. Unless, you, unless you manage to sneak it in, I'm not voting. Voting seems to be by consensus. No, by consensus of the board of directors. I'm just saying <laughs> there is now a wrong. one month moratorium. One month only. You can come back with it. One I month. Don't okay. do them. I did two categories in 130 <laughs> shows. So I'm, I'm not just talking about you. Oh, I know what you're saying. I don't feel no strongly more. about it, so I'm abstaining. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. We don't have you to do feel it. More I, I had one more that I was going to do, but not for a long time. <laughs> like, the, like the Elton John one I did already. Oh, 